my first mistake was not learning how to pronounce your name properly first mistake because you just dropped 10 gifted subs and said good morning with such a pleasant tone wow brother you're just supercharging this fucking friday morning huh my 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 brother my slime my dog my seed yo appreciate you baby he said gm are you in crypto i feel like the gm is the crypto good morning if Scump is playing, the L's for sure won't come out. I don't think Scump's online. Honestly, bro, you might see me go live until my next baby's born. If Seth's not going to be here. Uh, Lil Red, thank you very much for the tier one sub, brother. Yo, first mistake once again. Thank you very much for the 10. Yo, Nate, what are your thoughts behind keeping Peter on the Valent roster for this long? I think he's a great player, but I just want to hear your thought process behind not making a change. Well, Rex, let me tell you. A Friday morning in the first five minutes of my stream starting is the best time ever to talk about some of the most critical changes we could ever make to our Valorant program. So let me explain it to you exactly the way I see it. Lick nuts, brother. No, I mean, you sent like a very nice message and a very honest question. Um, Yo, brother, I'm not getting into roster changes and roster ideologies. Like, yo, we've got Valorant coaches, GMs. It is not my job. It is not my call. I do not make any decisions on the roster themselves. So we love Peter. I hope he plays uh, up to his potential as, as all the other players. I wish that for them. I want to win. I want to fucking win. Why do you think I'm wearing my jersey, bro? I'm not taking it off. I'm not showering. I'm not shaving. I'm not shitting. I'm not talking. I'm not coming. I'm not doing anything until our match versus Sentinels tomorrow. This guy, this if anything, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push these Sentinels players out of the damn arena just because of my stench. This guy, Tarek, is, is going to leave his own stream. I'm just going to be sitting on that couch by myself because I think I'm co-casting with... Uh, I think we play Sentinels tomorrow, right, chat? I'm pretty sure I'm co-casting tomorrow, watch partying with Tarek for a match. Sunday, I mean, Sunday, sorry. I keep thinking today's Saturday. Today's not Saturday. Today is Friday, Sunday. Yo, Gio, what up, baby? Thanks for the tier one, man. I needed to drop a resub because of the fire playlist. I appreciate you, Gio. Yeah, I've been on this Leonard Skinner grind. Word is you're losing a lot of money golfing tomorrow to the two-time? Yo, first of all, nothing would make me happier to clean Doc's pockets. But I don't think we have a tea time for tomorrow, bro. LA is insane. I'm telling you guys, can I just be straight up? I'm glad that the golf, the world of golf is growing. You know, I think it went through uncharted territory uh, with the growth that it had during COVID. But... It's impossible unless you unless you belong to a private club out here. Tea times are just so much harder to find. Like before COVID and before everybody was stuck in their house and then everybody started playing golf because it was like the only outdoor activity you can do. My buddy and I would my buddies and I would be drinking on a Friday night, open up our phones. There'd be a million tea times available. We'd book one. We'd be golfing at 8 a.m. next Saturday at like one of the best public courses in L.A. Now, if you're not, if you don't have a bot or if you're not booking two weeks in advance, it's just like so hard to find tee times. It's pretty frustrating, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I'm glad the, the sport has grown. I really am. But pretty big inconvenience. Just hard to get a tee time, man. Welsh Dodo, thank you very much for the tier one, brother. Good to see you. Blizzy, thank you very much for the tier one. Most places only allow booking five days before now. Yeah, th th that's the same thing out here. But the problem is there, somebody went down like a rabbit hole on TikTok and found out. And these are just like the public courses that are ran by the county or the, the city of LA. Um, even the private public courses that aren't on the same booking system People will like book tea times immediately and then squat on them all week until they can figure out if they can actually golf that week. So these tea times will come up 
after they're canceled um like the day before the round randomly throughout the day and then they'll just get snatched up so it's i don't know i i hope we're golfing tomorrow but i don't think we are i'm gonna text the group chat actually Playing your first round of the year tomorrow? Fuck yeah, brother. Let's go. What's Tierra Hada like? Tierra Hada is like a... It's a beautiful, scenic... The surrounding area is very beautiful. You end up on some like very high elevated uh, hillsides so that you can see out into like the entire valley. But... If you're look if you're looking to play a course for quality of course, Tierra Rahata is not it. Like if you play it for the first time, if you've never played there before, you can play Tierra Rahata and you'll have a great time. But you we used to go there a lot. They've had a change in ownership like three or four times. I'm not saying their ownership group now is is bad, but the course, the quality of course is just not great. There's a lot of holes that are not laid out well. It's a I don't know. It's coin flip, brother. Good luck. Lime's ass, thank you so much for the tier one, brother. Sick boy, always good to see you, baby. Always good to see you. Thanks for the tier one, baby. Bought a Stealth Plus driver, excited for the next round. Fuck yeah, Tad Paul. Yo, let me say, can I just say this? What up, Killer Cajun? Cards Freak, you're in here every day. We love you, baby. 500 bits, was listening to the new Bryson Tiller on the way to work with the live note he came on. Is, is, is Bryson Tiller's new album out? Sick boy, I'm good, man. I've been really good. This this streaming grind's been a lot of fun for me. Are we edging to that chat or are we gooning? Yeah, Diesel, I, dude, I didn't know what to make my home course because we would bounce around from like course to course to course to course back then, but we were playing Tierra Hada a lot because there was always tea times available. So I just made that my home course. I. I got to get that thing changed. I sent an email into uh, the USGA, I think it is, about getting my home course changed, and then they never got back to me because you can't change it in the app. But J. Cole dropped. I, I really want to listen to that. I've seen some of the headlines around the Kendrick Lamar stuff, but I don't, I don't know. I got to listen to the whole project first because I really love J. Cole. I really, really do. And I got to listen to this Bryson album. Yo, Gravity Sucks is back. Hashdown Brown is back. He said, I'll oh, pass, 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 pass. Brother, you've got LACC money. Private clubs are fun as hell. Yo, silly. I Listen, bro, I, I want to join a private club. I really do. I'm not going to do it out here in LA, though, just because I'm not going to be here much longer. And a lot of these private clubs, I'm telling you, brother, like LACC, Bel Air, Hillcrest, these private clubs are not like the others. It, I mean, you have so many families that have lived out in L.A. for so long that L.A. is like the... There's a couple cities that have this, but L.A. is like the pinnacle of, like, wealth and connections. And these, these, these private clubs have, like, two-year wait lists. You need to have, like, five sponsors to get into these places. And I am not a social blood butterfly when it comes to that world, man. It's 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 wild, brother. I actually was very turned off to LACC. I I, I think the I think the course is unbelievable, but just my first time playing there, there were some members that were like on the member that brought us out. Ass, it was a whole thing. I don't know. Sick boy, thank you so much for the five gifted, man. I appreciate you, baby. Call out. Thank you very much for the tier one. He said, let's get in each other. <laughs> Yo, wait, what the fuck? Honestly, that was the most simple way to say such a funny but true thing that we should be doing. Let's get in each other. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why that got me. That, that, I like that a lot. Let's get in each other. 
Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Said Hash Brown down. Yo, Chad, there are rumblings here, gentlemen. There are rumblings that there is a new bundle out that I'm going to fucking love. I haven't seen it. I think somebody maybe screenshotted like a preview of it. You, you fuckers know me too well now, bro. I, I was at Universal waiting in line and I, I, I refreshed my Twitter mentions and it's like, yo, Nate, turn the fucking stream on right now and go to the store. We got bundles to buy. I'm like, okay what's going on here dude you guys are spoiling it for me but i'll tell you what i'm flattered i feel all warm and fuzzy inside that you guys know me you guys know you guys know how to get straight to my heart yo kg one two three thank you so much for the tier one brada oos oos thank you very much for the tier one sub do you use a utility driving iron if so which one uh papadino i've got a two iron that i bought for shits and giggles that i've only used a couple times but actually the second to last shot of the day that i had on monday was with my two iron and i'm pretty sure i hit this motherfucker like 215 yards so i gotta figure out how to hit that club consistently because that is a that would be a great fairway finder for me i know that's not uh, uh, uh that long of a distance and i probably should be able to hit a two iron further at least i know i have plenty of friends well, I have one or two friends that I golf with consistently that can hit the two iron that far. But get your yardage up. Yo, Gids, I tried, man. Distance is a fleeting thing for me just because I, I don't think I'm uh, using my uh, my legs properly, bro. I, I had a six months when I was really taking lessons where I added like 15 yards to all my irons. I had like, and, and that's not an exaggeration, and if you golf, you know how hard that actually is to do. Uh, but it wasn't that hard just because my entire life I've been leaving so much distance on the, on, the, on the table. But as soon as I started to learn how to use my lower body, pro lower body properly, that's when my ball striking and my distance really skyrocketed. I stopped dragging the handle through. I've just kind of lost these feelings that I'm trying to work my way back. I had a back injury too, but before the wedding like of june july and august of last year i was in the gym for three months i was taking golf lessons like twice a week bro i went from hitting my seven iron like 150 yards you know stock to almost really 170 yards almost 20 yards on every i know that sounds like i'm just absolutely bullshitting but i swear to you so i'm trying to get back there i'm trying to get back to that um comfort zone with the distance but i'll tell you this man uh somebody's uh, the reason why i started talking about golf is because of these tea times and dr disrespect but i saw somebody say that i think it was tad paul you said you uh got the stealth plus you're bringing out to the course tomorrow yo i'm kind of in i'm 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 huffing this glue i'm i'm all in on these 10k moi new drivers that came out this year the carbon fiber 10k every brand came out with them Bro, I took out this uh, this box behind me. Actually, it's blocking. It's getting blocked by this monitor right here. Maybe you guys can see it now. Yo, v Vicup, what up, baby? Thanks for the sub. That box right there, bro. I brought that out for my second round ever. Yo, Vic, I'm gonna get to you in a second. I brought out this 10K MOI. It's the QI10, I think it is, or the IQ10. I forget the fucking act, the, what numbers and letters they use, but I know it's Q. I know it's an I. I don't know what order it's in, but. It's the max driver as well. This club head at a dress is so big. It almost feels like I'm cheating. And I was swinging so easy, bro. I carried a couple drives, like 265, 270 yards in my round on Monday. And I was not swinging very hard. And I really didn't have like a lot of misses with it. The only miss that I had was a little pulley, but that wasn't the driver's fault. That was just me opening up my entire body like immediately on the transition. So I'm kind of I'm kind of all in on this. I feel like this is the and maybe I would just swing well that day. But this is like the first time in a long time where I feel like the driver that they come out with from year to year, they always act like it's this brand new technology. But actually, this time around, maybe it might actually be. So, so some something to think about for all those in the market for a new driver. Income drainer, thank you so much for the prime. Yo, Vic P33. You just gave me that five gifted D. I love you, brother. Thank you so much for that five. Popo Ginger, thank you very much for the tier one. Luke with the tier one. 
Sticks with the tier one said, thanks for all the phenomenal content over the last decade. Let's have a great fucking day. I don't even know why I called you Sticks, brother. I'm going to pick up my words and call you Six, which is your proper name. I'm so sorry about that. Can't read. It's early. KG, thank you very much for the sub and Loch Ness, Loch Ness. It was about that time that I noticed that that little girl was about six stories tall and that a creature, a crustacean for the Patagonia. Yo, Loch Ness. I said, I said, it's going to be about Tree Fitty. Yo, Loch Ness with the 20 gifted subs right off the fucking jump of the stream, brother. Thank you so much, man. If you join Optic, I'll move to Japan and become a sumo wrestler. Yo, Slink, did you take mushrooms with the elves, bro? You're only supposed to smoke the weed with them, bro. Don't give them anything that's growing out of the ground that you're supposed to eat. What in the fucking world kind of con was that? Loch Ness, thank you so much for the 20, brother. It was about that time that I noticed that little girl. I said it's going to be... A Wait, hold on. I used to be that. I used to do that voice pretty well. I said it's going to be about Tree Fitty. No, I lost it. I got to see the episode. I used to fucking love South Park. I used to watch South Park every Wednesday. New episode, 9 o'clock when I was in high school and shit. Loch Ness, you're the fucking go, brother. Thank you so much for the 20. You just bought your first house we celebrating today, brother? Yo, sick boy. That's fucking incredible. I'm excited for you, man, but I'm also just warning. warning. Uh, it's, a, it's a warning, all you would-be warriors. When you buy a house, you owe a debit. A debit that you owe life. Yo, listen. Owning a house is an incredible feeling. It's a massive milestone in any man's life, any woman's life, any any anybody really. If you have the ability to own a home one day, holy fuck, bro! There's you're just gonna have projects at all times, twenty four seven. There's always gonna be something broken in that place. There's always gonna be something to fix. The home warranty that is a fucking scam. We cancel our home warranty. I'm getting 20 calls a day about this fucking thing. Everything that broke, they would just call their own contractors that they have agreements set up with. They would get the home warranty contractors out here. They would say it can't be fixed, but they wouldn't replace it. Good luck, brother. Good luck. You, you, I'm excited for you, man. Most of it's good, but there's a lot of bullshit you got to deal with, man. So if you're renting right now, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Sorry to put a damper on your... Great day. I promise you it's awesome, but maybe you like being busy. I don't like being busy. I like being busy in the things that I'm good at, which is all of this in my little battle station streaming for you guys. But my dad built the house I grew up in. He was a carpenter for like 36 to 37 years in the union. I didn't learn a fucking thing from this guy. I don't know what happened, but this shit is just stressful, man. We got this. I feel, yo, I feel like I'm back at uh, uh, the amusement park with the, with Leonard Skinner hitting me with his piano in the background. This guy's going to have anxiety because of you? Left-handed. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I have all this anxiety, and I'm sorry for projecting it on all my boys in the chat. That is kind of fucked up that I just took, like, the most exciting thing he's ever, probably ever done in his life. Like, buying a house is a big deal, and I just shit all over it. That was kind of fucked up. I'm sorry, bro. I'm telling you, the house ownership is a great experience that I wish everybody in this chat gets to have, but it is a lot of work. And if there's any homeowners in this chat, I'm sure they can co-sign me on that one. Noisy Cartoon, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Am I still in the doghouse? No, I actually was never in the doghouse. Turns out my wife was not upset with me at all. Turns out, like, I just... My wife is just such a pure, innocent soul. And I always think something that I did is going to bother her. And I always forget, like, the reason why I married this woman is because, like, all the things that I hate about myself, she doesn't see those as, she doesn't, she doesn't even notice those negative things. They're just positive. I'm, all, I'm like, the coolest guy in the world to her. And I, I don't know, somehow I tricked her. I think I, Cupid must be real. Hit her with that love bow. Because I got her brainwashed or something, man. I really got my wife brainwashed. I don't know what the fuck, how I got this lucky. Happiest man in the world, for real? Dude. I'm more grateful for my wife every single day, man. Truly. And you listen, I don't even like to be talking as all sweet and genuine right now, but it's true, bro. That woman's a saint. Now I'm going to go back to making jokes about hitting her soon. So enjoy it while you can. 
How are you, brother? What's up, Beats? What's up, brother? Does Haley still work? Or no? Yeah, she still works. Uh, she's on paternity leave right now, and it's coming up uh, to a close here in a couple weeks. So we're trying to figure that whole situation out. She loves her job, and she's very good at it. Um, but I'll tell you what. One thing that I hope all of you get to experience besides home, home ownership is watching your uh, wife fall in love with your first child. I mean, I knew my wife was gonna was just like destined to be a mother. You know, that was one of the attributes that I just couldn't stop thinking about and couldn't start couldn't stop myself from falling in love with. My wife is a very nurturing person. You know, she has like a very high emotional IQ and she loves to take care of people. She loves to take care of me, my friends, all of her friends. Like I swore this woman was just put on the earth to take care of others. So I knew she was gonna love our first child, but you don't really know what that love is going to feel like until you have a baby, right? And so when Gracie finally joined us in this world, my wife just turned into, it's, it's like she fucking evolved. She went from the Charmander to the Charmeleon to the fucking Charizard. Fucking Pokemon reference to talk about my wife's love. That was awful. All right, we're not on our A game today, but that's probably because I've been shitting my brains out for an hour and a half. W abuser, turn up. Uh, but yeah, man, watch my wife take care of our little daughter and how much she loves her and how much she cares about her. It's pretty special, man. And so I hope you guys all get to find that in your life one day. If you don't, have, if you don't want kids or you're younger right now than me, I'm 31. I never wanted kids pretty much my entire life. And then once I met my wife, it was all, it was over. I'm like, yeah, we got to have one of these little kids. We got we to gotta see what's uh, on the other side of this fence. We got to see what a little me and little you look like. And then you meet them and then it's just done. Your life, your life just changes in an instant. And it's, and it's true. It, so, it sounds cliche. I, I, I didn't believe it myself. I'm like, you motherfucker. All these dads that tell me that when that baby comes out, it, uh, immediately, it's like an out-of-body experience. You feel that instinctual, instinctual love that human beings are programmed with since the dawn of time. But it's true, man. It's fucking true. It's weird. DP247 is me. Thank you so much for the tier one, brother. Gush Money, what up, baby? Thanks for the tier one. Gabriel Fuller with the 100 bits. Trying to sell used cars, brother. Worst job possible. Uh, yeah. I, I, honestly, I feel like I'd be a decent car salesman. I really do. But I don't want to find out because I'm sure that's pretty stressful job maddie cream thank you so much for the prime big dog he said 29 months let's run season three yo maddie i'm gonna get to it brother but i haven't been live for an entire day which to me feels like i haven't been live for a year so we're gonna do a little yap in here first catch up with the boys so bro i'm not even kidding somebody tweeted me this video somebody went and i'm flattered M maybe not all of you guys feel this way but a handful of people do somebody clips like the first 30 minutes of my stream and uploads it to YouTube. And the title is just like, here's Nate Shot yapping for 30 minutes for you to play in the background. They're saying that my yapping is, uh, they like it more now than the lo-fi hip hop girl to get work done. And I'm like, that's fucking incredible, bro. I can just sit here and talk to myself and you guys, you sick bastards love it. I'm all in on it. So I'm trying to give the people, the few handful of people, you ever seen that clip of the DJ? of the kid on the balcony and he's like pretending that he's DJing and you look down and there's just like three guys like acting like they're at the in the crowd at the rave that's what I feel like these boys are on the YouTube channel I just got a yapping channel I mean I guess that's really what a podcast is and I haven't been doing my podcast because uh I went off the grid for the birth of Gracie which we just talked quite a bit about but I'm I'm loving the yap sessions your yapping is entertaining. I have you on my ear while I'm at work. Yo, Sam, I appreciate you, baby. Yappy hour with Nate Shot on God, Eneds. The Art of Yapping. That could be our podcast name if I switched and did like a solo podcast. I don't want to do I don't want to do podcasts anymore where I like. I mean, I'm I, I love the Courage of Nate Shot show, and I'm gonna continue to do the Courage of Nate Shot show. But I've learned that I don't want to interview people because I'm selfish. I just want to talk. I just want to talk the entire time. 
Yo, Duffel Davey. What up, baby? Thanks for the prime, man. Love the streams, brother. Appreciate you, Davey. Lamando Veli, thank you so much for the tier one anarchy ideals. Thanks for the prime. Are you talking? Are you taking the Turbo S to Texas? Yo, Vic, I'm actually gonna try to sell the Turbo S. I keep forgetting that I need a message to range native because he's interested in buying my Turbo S. I gotta talk to him about it. You can out yap Dashy in a yap off. See, Metro, I feel like me and Dashy have a lot of we have very different styles of yapping. Dashy's one of the best when it comes to yapping, but him and I have very different styles of yapping. I go on tangents about a lot of different things. I think Dashy kind of yaps about the same things, but I still enjoy listening to it. Did you see the new bundle? Yo, Gubbin, Gumbin, I, listen, bro, the streets have been talking. I'm not even kidding. I was having a hard time enjoying Universal yesterday because I was in line. I said this earlier, so I'll make it quick, but I was on Twitter for like, 30 seconds and I refresh my mentions and somebody was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, brother? You need to get on stream right now and see this new bundle. I don't know how or why you're not online right now, but you're going to lose your fucking mind. So get here immediately. So now I've been thinking about this moment since yesterday at Universal. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this bundle, bro. I may have gotten a sneak peek, but I didn't see the whole thing. So we're going to react to it together in due time. All right, in due time. It's time. The bundle is dope. No, 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 it's not time. I, I need a little bit more yap in here, boys. Dashy is a circular yapper. Your skill is unmatched. I, I do think I can yap with the best of them. I, I, I Listen, I try to be as humble as possible because I know what I'm good at and what I'm not good at, and there's a lot of things I'm not good at, but yapping on stream with you guys specifically if I was on somebody else's stream, somebody else's chat, I don't think they'd fuck with me as much. But for some reason, the same way that I got Haley underneath some sort of love potion, I got her underneath some sort of spell, just like Mr. Deeds. He's ah, oh, he's putting some sort of spell on me. Are you sure he wasn't just waving? You guys love my yapping, so you guys make me feel like a top-tier yapper every day, and I appreciate y'all. Nade be a man and buy another E92 M3. Bro, I, 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 I regret selling my M3 so much, but you don't know what you don't know. I'll get that fucker back one day. I'll get that fucker back one day. How about that sexy doll touche optic doll? Oh, I got to send him a text and say congrats. Yo, A-Dub's winner. Before I text this, this, this fucking beautiful man doll touche, I want to say thank you for this five gifted, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congrats on the announcement. Congrats on the optic announcement, big dog. <laughs> big dog. That's a great, that's a great fit right there. Happy for your, you, brother. Does that... Mean we're leaving Austin and moving to Dallas. Are me and Daltouche gonna hang out a lot when I move to Texas? I'd love to play more golf with them. Wait, the bundle was so sick that Sam got it right away. All right, listen, bro. If 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 listen, I int in and buy every bundle that comes up on this store because I'm a sucker. And I'll tell you what, they should have never let me get some hands on disposable income because my favorite place to burn that money is in these goddamn online video game microtransactions, bro. I'm basically, I'm pretty sure I paid the salaries of at least one Riot employee and one Activision employee with the amount of bundles and skins that I've bought on Call of Duty and, and Valorant. So we're not stopping that show anytime soon, dude. This is going to be a 20-season banger on Netflix. Yo, Hammy, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Bye, CJZ. Thank you very much for the prime. A-Dub, once again, not only do you have winner username, but you're a winner in my heart for that five gifted man. Thank you. What up, McGowan? Hope you enjoyed your Friday. Thanks for getting more TikToks up. Me and McGowan have been spoiled, bro. We've had so many TikToks in the last couple of weeks go viral. Now when we get like 60,000 views on the TikTok, I feel like we're shadow banned. 
Jesus, bro. Talk about uh, entitlement. Have you heard the new Cole song? I haven't heard it yet. I know there's a whole album, isn't there? I don't think it's an official album release. I gotta, I gotta listen to it. Uh, why do you stream so early? Just curious. I love it, Coop Dog said. And fam Biggie, thanks for the gifted sub, brother. Appreciate you, baby. Um, I love streaming early in the morning just because this is when my energy is highest. And with the baby now, you know, I can still get eight hours of streaming in and then have pretty much like eight hours left in the day to get other work done with McGowan on the content side. 100 Thieves I have time to catch up on and spend time on. And then I get family time. So I, for me, the early morning is just best because this is when I'm sharpest. This is when I can yap the best. Even like when I did that late afternoon stream after I got back from golf on Monday, the whole thing just, I, was, I felt unsettled the entire time. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Is there a little motion in this ocean? What's going on, gentlemen? Hold on. Let me stop yapping. Let me put a pause on that to say thank you to N. Hauser for the five gifted sub. Brother, if you were in front of me, I'd house that whole thing. Whatever you got for me, dude. I'll close my eyes and just let you take the wheel, Hauser. Thank you very much for the five gifted and the tier one right after that. And then chopsticks. Chopsticks, chopsticks. What can I say, brother? That five gifted feels like a fresh platter of any good food that you can eat with chopsticks. I was going to say orange chicken, but then I realized, like, chopsticks. Asian cultural food. I, I didn't want to. I don't know. Thanks for the five gifted chopsticks. You're the fucking man. Oh, a DTH. DTH is making me DTF, brother. And for all my Gen Zers who never watched. Wait, Jersey Shore, that, that wasn't D DTF. That was not down to fuck. What? Jim Tan Laundry. Okay, I'm off my game already. Look at that. DTH with the five gifted. And fan Biggie just fucking trickled in another gifted sub. You guys are active already today, huh? I'm dead, said Gravity Sucks. How close are you allowed to get to a middle school? You know what, Thunder? The, the mustache definitely gives those vibes, man, but I... I think I might be pretty good with kids. I'm so excited for Gracie to be older and listen to me. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I take it back. I mean, I am excited for it. Here's the thing. This entire time since Gracie has been born, even since she's been in the womb, I've been thinking to myself, like, I just want her to be at an age right now. Like, I just want to fast forward to when she can understand the things that I say and we can have real conversations. We can play my favorite shows and movies for when I was a kid and see her reaction and just, just like actually connect via verbal communication. Let me say this. I never understood when people would say, you're going to, you're going to miss the newborn era. You're going to miss her being a baby. And I still have a lot of time left of her being a baby but man, bro, like if I was a weaker man, just thinking about it right now, like I just get emotional. It brings a fucking happy and sad tear to my eye just knowing that she's not going to be this little nugget forever. Bro, she, her, her crying face, like her sad face or discomfort face is evolving, brother. It is getting so sad. It, it just it just pulls on a heart string that you did I, like a level of empathy and sadness that you feel where you just want to like push everything out of the way in the world to make sure she cannot feel like this ever again. I don't know how to describe it, but bro, she does this thing with her lower lip and her face gets all scrunched up and I can see the 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 the, the sadness and the and the fear in her eyes. And I'm just like, honey. I'll die for you right now. I don't want to, I, I, I can't look, I, I don't know. And I, I just feel like I'm going to miss this, this, this portion, this era of her newborn. She's not newborn anymore, but a baby. I, I don't know, man. 
parent being a parent i'm only four months in now and it's it's weird brother it's weird what it can do to your mind and your 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 feelings and emotions she ain't ever gonna beat me she'll probably beat me one day 1v1 nuketown for sure but yeah i think i'm gonna miss her being a baby man it's a lot of work my wife's been taking a lot of the grunt of that work since i stream throughout the day but she's right now she's like obsessed with her hands and just yesterday really was like the first time ever if i put my finger out in front of her she'll grab it and she's her face like she's so focused like she'll puff her lips up and her eyes like she does her her eyebrows get real slanted like mine she looks just like me in that sense like around the eyes and she's just so focused on grabbing my finger trying to figure the whole thing out so it's it's pretty special what's happening right now in the Hague household, gentlemen. I feel very lucky. Not as lucky as I feel right now, though, because Chuf God just hit me with the tier one sub. Casual C dub hit me with the prime. Mark M with the tier one. Bryce with the prime. Captain Junkie Nightmare. A millions. Thank you guys all so much for the sub. Sonder just hit me with the tier one. A lot of brand new tier one subs just now, gentlemen. Some two months just that came back. The tier ones are pretty special, gentlemen. That means you got this damn uh sub on a fucking constant revolving door of renewal the prime subs i love as well man but i know like if you're a brand new prime sub here you've never prime sub before you got to test the waters dude and make sure that it's actually worth the free money spent so i'm gonna do everything i can in these streams to make you come over full time as a tier one yo wiggly thanks for the prime dirty joker thank you very much for the prime frostbit thank you very much for the tier one not vert thank you so much for the prime sugma beans thank you very much for the tier one wiggly dirty joker mcjungle just hit hit the gifted sub frostbit hachi fufu truth god casual c dub mark and bryce thank you guys all so much yo gentlemen i told you guys before the sub button even came back i was gonna do everything i can to make the sub button worth it i still like the piece of shit that i am have not followed through on the sub giveaways but i'm gonna make it a point that it's gonna get done before april 15th all right we're going to do these sub... I, dude, that's what I'm going to do today. When I get off stream today, me and Haley are jumping on Amazon. I'm going to order all these goddamn goodies for these giveaways. And we're going we're gonna to start doing the giveaways before the 15th. I'm doing it. Hey, Siri, set a reminder for 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. Remind me to buy prizes for my subscribers. Bang. It's going to get done, gentlemen. You guys given me so much in these last two months. I am going to give back. An OLED monitor? Dude, I'll throw in like an OLED monitor or two in there. I'm going to spend some cash here, gentlemen. We're going to spend some cash. Scarce or Scrace, thank you so much for the prime. K-Box, thank you so much for the sub. BT Kells, brother. Every day you come in here and drop something in my bucket. I appreciate you always, baby. Thanks for the five gifted, man. Junior just said, oh my goodness, I miss you, brother. Good to have you back, baby. Eric the Red, thank you very much for the tier one. The Right Legend, thank you very much for the tier one. Chat, we got to talk about all this fucking meta MCW rival drama that's been going on in the COD community. It seems like it's a tale as old as time at this point. We got to talk about these meta guns and where everybody's heads are at. But before we do that, you guys are going ape shit right now on this sub button. Yo, empty apartment, brother. My apartment has never felt more full with you in it. It's not empty at all. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Always, brother. Apartment, you're always in here dropping these subs. Allison, Allison, Allison. You as well. You as well, Allison. Golly. Allison, I, you know, I don't mean to... First of all, I only knew one Allison in my life, and she lived down the street from me. She was a very sweet girl when we were younger. So that name just fits right right in it here. Are, are you actually a girl? Are you? Is your name Allison or is that like a... You're one of the few women that I feel like watches my stream. So thank you so much, Allison. You're very sweet. And if you're not a female, regardless, you're very sweet no matter what. Thank you very much, Allison, for the five gifted. Holy shit. Yo, listen, I got some people to get to. Chat, sorry. I know y'all want me to see a new bundle. I want to play season three as well. But when we yet and the people give, you know... These gifted subs in my bucket. We got to spend adequate time thanking them. Yes, I am a female. We got confirmation. Allison is a female. And my name is Allison. Okay. Your identity has been... Jesus Christ, Prem. Hold on. Allison, you're so sweet. 
You know, I somebody in my chat the other day said, you ever realize that women probably watch your stream? And I wasn't sure if she was alluding or he, they were alluding to the fact that I make a lot of jokes about men meat, man meat. Allison, we just want, you must have grown, grown up with some brothers or something because I say a lot of heinous, wild shit. And you always are just in here gifting subs. So I guess it, you find it funny in some way or another. Thank you so much, Allison. Guys, what the fuck is going on right now? Why, 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 why are we doing this? Yo, listen, boys, we, we got a lot of yapping still to come. So if you want to come back in like 20 minutes, maybe I'll be on the game then. But holy shit. Allison, thank you for the five. Lee Sun, thank you very much for the prime. Alpha Omega, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Not Vert with a gifted sub. You're the fucking man. Cold Black 0327. Good morning, sir. Have a fantastic stream today. Eight months out of you, Cold. We appreciate you, baby. Vibe with Kelso. We're vibing with Kelso every day. Hachi Fufu with the 10 gifted subs. Hachi Fufu, you're going ape shit. You hit me with the sub. You just hit me with the 10 gifted. A brand new tier one sub at that. And then 10 gifted right off the rip. I'll tell you what. In a world where first impressions are everything, Hachi Fufu, you just made an impact on me that will soon not be forgotten. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Their first... Thief... Yo, I gotta get... I gotta figure out. I'm pretty sure it's their first mistake he's trying to say in his username, but it's T-H-E-I-F-R-S-T. Or maybe it's Frost mistake. I think I got it right. Thief... Smir thief smir steak. I don't know. Either way, brother, I'm just going to call you steak. No, we got to do mistake. Thank you so much for the five gifted. I might have mistaken your username's pronunciation, but I did not pronounce... I did not have any mistake in how much I love you. Shit. All right, maybe I need to stop yapping here soon. I'm running out of fucking words. Thank you so much for the five gifted, Prem. I don't even need to say it to you, brother. Thank you so much for the 10. Thanks for always being in the chat. Thanks for keeping it lively. You're the fucking man, Prem. Always. Midzone, just hit me with that fucking thousand bits. Midzone, you're the man. Always. Strafe, thanks for the tier one. Loose a soul. I don't know why, but when I see your name, I think of casserole. Thanks for the five gifted. I've never had casserole in my life. It's just not something that's appealing to me, but you are so appealing. So beautiful. Oh, my God. P.S. 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 Thanks for the five gifted, brother. Necros of Trish, thank you so much for the tier one. Sully Boy Steve with the tier one. Had to start the stream back up and watch since MOG stream days and been a lurker. Sully, you're the fucking man. And you remind me of Mo Monster Zinc, which I loved that movie as a kid. So thank you. Bones with the five gifted. These old bones appreciate you, baby. And I might have an extra bone in my pants now because of that five, brother. You're the man. Prem with another gifted sub. Pikesy Pickles. I love pickles and I love you. Pickle Rick. Thanks for the subs, brother. Pierre with the tier one. Lando with the tier one. BT Kells with the gifted sub. Mac with the prime. GXG with the tier one. C Jones with the tier one. Hot Shots with the prime. That big pitch just pitch a big, big five gifted straight into my arse. Thank you so much. Big pitch. You're the fucking man. Prem just hit another five gifted. Prem, go buy some more vinyls and stop giving me subs. But you know I love it, brother. You know I'll talk dirty to you, Prem. Thank you, man. And drops with a gifted sub. Holy shit. Chat, are we active on a Friday morning? What's going on here? Mick Jungle, brother. I want to explore your fucking jungle like goddamn George. George of the jungle. Holy shit. Chat, I got some shorts on. My whole plan was to come down here to my office do my bathroom routine. I, I start drinking my juvie. I put a Zin in. I take a shit. I was going to go back upstairs and shower. And then let me tell you, I just could not stop shitting. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going back inside now. I'm late. I can't take a shower. I can't do my hair all nice. I've been thinking to myself, I'm like, this photo that I took with Haley uh, for Easter, I'm like, okay, if I actually blow dry my hair and put some product in there, I actually look much less of a serial killer with a mustache than I thought I would. I actually liked that photo of me. And then I told myself, my, I had a whole conversation with Haley in bed last night about it. I'm like, I have a shower in my office that I've, I've never turned on. The shower in here has never been turned on because I just shower in the bedroom. But my wife is still asleep when I wake up. She's like, honey, you've showered in the morning before. I never hear you. You're so quiet to shower in here. I don't want you to leave me. Like, it makes me happy to think that I'll be sleeping knowing that you're showering in the bedroom. So I'm like, fuck, okay. Well, I'm going to shower up there, but I got to go down here. I got to start the whole thing up, yada, yada, yada. 
I got shorts on, bro. I got no socks on. I, I'm not taking a shower. I'm fucking locked in with you boys. Uh, we're really yapping. If I just told you a whole fucking three minute story about the fact that I didn't take a shower, this stream sucks. But you guys seem to love it because not only did McJungle hit me with that 10 gifted right after the fact, Scrace just hit me with a 5 gifted. Scrace, you're not a disgrace. You're a fucking man of achievement and success in this stream. We love you, Scrace. Thank you very much. And I love seeing the ITZ. Just like it's Timmy. I had a gamer tag just like that, bro. Every fucking gamer tag, like, uh, formula you could think of, I've had. I've had the ITS. I've had the XI, IX. I had it all. But I love seeing that, like, old-school throwback username with the five gifted. Visions, bro, you've got the clearest vision of any man in this chat. And you consistently come in here with these beautiful, beautiful fucking manifested visions in here with this five gifted. Hachi Fufu. Again, Hachi, Hachi Fufu, I said don't cry. I'm not crying. I'm so happy, Hachi Fufu. Chat lock in for Gracie? Oh, God, bro. You guys are locking in for Gracie for real. Hachi Fufu, you hit the tier one sub, and then you hit tw 10 gifted, then 10 gifted right after the fact? You're new here with the subs, but we might be a match made in heaven, brother. Thank you. You can call me whatever you want, said Mistake. I'm going to call you Daddy now, Mistake. Big Daddy Mistake. Thank you very much for the 500 bits. Big Bobby Boucher. Hey, Big Bob. Hey, he's been the cool to coach. He's been the cool coach. Cooler. Yo, Big Bobby, thank you so much for the five gifted. Ricky Bobby. You're the fucking man. Navy, thank you so much for the tier tier one. Navy SEAL. I want to be, I want to, uh, yo, SEALs are adorable. You ever, in LA, I can't, actually, I don't know if they're SEALs or walruses. I think they're SEALs. They sit up on the, on the, on the boardwalk. I don't go to the beach a lot. It's terrible beaches out here. Terrible beaches. Those SEALs are adorable. And you're cute as fuck for six months sub. Skeeter, thank you very much for the prime. Love you, brother. Been watching since Justin TV days. Now that's a throwback, Skeeter. Thank you very much for the sub. Prem hit me with another five gifted. Yo, Prem, you woke up horny, brother. And I'm not complaining at all. Thanks for the five, man. Cheyenne. Cheyenne reminds me of... Who sings the Cheyenne? Is that George Strait or is that... Uh, Gar Garth Brooks? I just think of Garth Brooks now whenever I think of Garth Brooks because this kid in rank play and this kid in my chat uh you're the fucking man brother thanks for the sub marshall thank you very much for the tier one dude yeah you know whenever i get on a plane now i always hope there's like an uh like a federal marshal on the plane you know after 9 11 happened they started having like undercover marshals on every plane just to keep the peace i always think like i watch everybody come onto the plane or i'm sitting in the uh terminal getting ready to board i'm like Looking around, I'm like, who could be a marshal here? Who's wearing, like, generic clothes and looks like they have, like, a military build? Who's a marshal here? Are we safe? Anytime I see a baby or a dog get on a plane, I'm like, all right, thank God. Nothing's going to go wrong. There's no way this plane's going down with a baby or a dog on it. You know what I mean? Anxiety is a weird thing. Yo, Big Booty Bobby. Oh, my God. We got two Bobbies in here. Big Booty Bobby. A lot of Bobbies with a lot of ass. Thanks for the five gifted, brother. Low and Frog, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Happy birthday, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much, dude. I can't believe I'm 35 here on today's Twitch stream. Erwin Tron, my brother Erwin, always showing up and showing out. This guy, Erwin, I think has dropped 10 gifted subs in my chat every day since Gracie's been born. I mean, honestly, brother, you should have signed the fucking birth certificate instead of me. Tobias, thank you very much for the prime. Autocorrect. There's no way you actually hate autocorrect, right? There's no fucking way you actually hate autocorrect, right? Because I fucking love autocorrect. But I'll tell you what. Sometimes the autocorrect on Apple kind of pisses me off. It's like, no, I'm not trying to use this word. I'm trying to use this other word, dumb bitch. Siri, you fucker. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Charlie, thanks for the prime. Aaron, thanks for the prime. Campbell. Hold on, I got to take this in out. Oh my God, I'm doing so much talking. I was threw up. The hell? It's got a weird notification on my PC I've never got before. Campbell! Bowl of Campbell soup right in my ass. Thank you, Campbell, for the five gifted. G Coop with the tier one. Izzy with the fucking gifted sub. AJ KG with the tier one. Campbell, you're always in here. We love you. Theodore, that's actually a beautiful name, Theodore Winters. You just sound like you are from a royal family or something. Love from the UK? Oh, shit. That makes sense. Got the first 100 Thieves jersey, and now it's framed in my office. I fucking love that out of you, brother. I got a bunch of 100 Thieves jerseys framed, too. 
uh i needed to get some cheaper shipping to the uk i know the uk is a big pain point i'm not even gonna get into it i'm so sorry brother it's a whole thing but i appreciate you still showing up and showing out for us brother mac Wiz, thanks for the prime yo chad how the fuck are we on a 271 sub train on this friday morning i leave for one day and you guys come back horny do i need to do, see this is kind of the nature of just human beings you you want what you can't have you guys what since you couldn't have all of me you couldn't have my pale naked body yesterday now you guys are coming back and you want me harder than you ever have before this is fucking insane brother yo tox this is the earliest i've ever seen you come in and drop that 10 gifted big bobby's always horny fuck yeah wait yo look the bobby's in the chat just typed at the same time yo you guys might have some sexual tension or you might be brothers from another mother something's going on bobby's you guys are fucking synced up today do you see that I feel like we just saw a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Yo, Tox, thanks for the 10 gifted, man. Jason, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Oats with 100 bits. You know why they call me Oat? Because I'm the GOAT. The, the G ain't there because I move in silence like lasagna. Yo, Oats, that's some cold ass shit. You just hit me with a little Wayne bar? Jesus. My day is very empty without a Nate Shot stream, just like how empty apartment is. You like that? You like that recall empty apartment? Yo, Jomo, thank you very much for the prime. That reminds me of uh, Jobu from uh, Major League. Great movie. Goldilocks, thank you very much for the prime. Let's go, my guy. You been back to streaming more? Uh, yeah, been streaming. You still busy with 100T? Definitely still busy with 100T, but I'm spending my time a little different. A little bit. Hold on. I just had this feeling in the back of my throat that I had to gag. I'm never eating. I'm not... Chad, if I ever try to order fast food again on stream, just don't let me. Give me. I need a, a two weeks of being healthy before I fall off the wagon again. Uh, Splaf, Sir Doofy, thank you very much for the prime. That's a hell of a username. And Benny, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, man. I, I, Chad, I don't know how the yapping sessions feel for you when I, you know, monopolize the yapping to thanking subs. I know that can probably get a little redundant for people that are waiting for me to actually do something. So for those that get annoyed by it, Thank you for your patience, but just understand when the chat is, when the chat says horny, I got, I must, I must jerk. I have to, sorry. That big pitch, Nade, my brother's in the National Guard and he's giving Syrian troops a tour of Ohio. I'll tell you what, that's, that first sentence alone, I don't think I could have ever anticipated I was going to wake up and read that combination of words in one sentence, but let me finish. Long story short, he offered the guy a six mig Zen and he pulled out a can of 50 MG ones they sell in their country. Holy fuck, brother. A 50 mig Zen is what they're just casually popping in Syria? Bro, that's like a fucking, that would be like a horse tranquilizer for me. I would literally, I don't even, that doesn't even sound enjoyable. I hate autocorrect. Is auto-correcting my fucking sub count with every gifted sub. Thank you so much for the five, brother. 50, 50 would be death on site. That's, I, I, don't, I don't even know why I'm clapping, right? I'm clapping that I, I don't exist in a world where I would ever want to have 50 milligram Zins. But you know what I want to have? I want to have this fucking Wildcat offense, and I want you to drive it straight up my ass, Wildcat. Right up the fucking gut, brother. Oh, my God. Wildcat, thank you so much for the 25 gifted. Wildcat, you always come in here and just... Truthfully, like, let me be honest. You, you just come in here and you fuck me with these 25 gifteds. Wildcat. You're the man, brother. Thank you so much. I love the way you grab your mic, Nate. It gets me riled up. This is my handshake. You guys might think it's other stuff, but this is truly, like, this is the only way I can shake your hand virtually. And, like, when I throw two hands on it, that just means this is eye contact and a handshake. I grew up watching Hank Hill, and I learned, not from my father, but from Hank Hill, a man has to, you, you must take a lot of pride in your a firm handshake and a look in the eye. We do it every, I'm not kidding, chat. I swear... I swear, I swear on everything. I don't even want to say Gracie because I feel like there's maybe been one round where I'm playing with people I don't know. No, I always tell them. After every round of golf, 
you put the pin in, you take off your hat, you look all three gentlemen in your group straight in the eyes, you, and you give them a firm handshake, and you, you don't say anything other than, hey, great game. And then you go to the other one. Hey, great game. Look in the eye. Hey, great game. This is that version. Hey, thanks for the subs. Great game. You're, the hand, gentlemen, if, if, if you've never been taught, I'm telling you. You can't pronounce my name. Harad? Harrod? Chat, if, 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 if you haven't had a man in your life ever tell you, you... You have to have a firm handshake. It's got to be firm, and you got to look the man in the eye. Hey, how you doing? How are the kids? Good to see you. Do it. It's got to be firm. I think Hank Hill, the episode, he's like, he finally, I think he met Roger Stallback, or he met somebody from the Dallas Cowboys who we always wanted to meet, and he gave him like a limp fish handshake. It was like the entire, it was the entire episode. Yo, Lil Red, thanks for the five gifted, brother. Oracle, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Lil Red, always, brother. Thank you. Can you test the firm hand? It was George Bush? Fuck, man. Fuck, it was George Bush. Wait, there was an earthquake in New Jersey? Dead ass? That's crazy. What the fuck? Your yap reminds me a lot of Tim the Tatman's yapping. One whole hour, no breaks. It really has been a fucking hour. Oh my God. Wait, you guys had a 4.8 earthquake in New Jersey? That's actually pretty fucking big. I don't even know. I mean, I know there's tectonic plates. Every, plates every, te, is it tectonic or is it tectonic? Is there a C in there? I think it's tectonic. Plates. I mean, I know they're everywhere, but you don't really get earthquakes out there, no? There is a C. Thank God. 4.8 is pretty big. Some might even say too much aspects. I agree. It's, not, it's just too big. It's, it's, who wants all that? Not me. Unwittingly, uh, thank you so much for the five gifted. Yo, Ben J, I hope you're safe out there, brother. Yo, Ben, I got to be honest with you. The more that I've played Call of Duty, the more I thought I'd like get closer to looking like Octane or Scump. But the more that I've played, I think I just keep getting closer to looking like you which i actually think is a great place to be man we look good out here i don't think there's anybody that's like the best call of duty player in the world that's good at golf because we got to balance out our sliders like 2k like we're pretty good at call of duty but we're pretty good at golf too we're like we're pretty uh, we're like above we're right in between average and above average i wouldn't say we're above average i wouldn't say we're right in the middle we're mildly average at golf and Call of Duty. And I think that's a great place to be, man. Jack of all trades. We're masters of none. I'm pretty good at jerking off my subscribers, though. I mean, handshaking. Uh, that I am. That's like 99 on the sliders, bro. You got it. You know what I mean? Has Brown down with the 500 bits. When you move to Texas, you should get a Ram TRX or a Raptor R. Yo, I've been looking at this. Uh, the Bronco Raptor. I, I, I definitely want a truck. I'm, I'm going to get a fucking truck. I was looking at the Ram TRX. The Raptor looks cool. Can't wait for people to make fun of me for having a truck, even though I don't haul anything long distances, but I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm going to put my golf clubs back there. Do some crazy shit. Wait, yo, LaRue, you have a Bronco for real? That's fucking tight. I respected you a lot, but I even got more respect for you now. And why the fuck are you in my chat yapping? Should, are, you, are you on today, LaRue? Because I miss you. I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I need to lock in today if we're playing together because I need to show you that I'm, I'm better than I am. The last day that I played was not good, bro. They, the elves were out early. I think you have, might have a good point, LaRue. I don't think I played Call of Duty without smoking this fucking elvish chronic in a while. And I keep getting frustrated when I have bad days on stream playing. Like, it actually affects me. I don't get as frustrated as I did on Valorant when I'd have a bad day, but it still bothers me. Uh, because the last day of Call of Duty that we had on... What's today? Friday? I didn't stream yesterday. Wednesday was an awful day, bro. I just could not play the game. So I want to really try to impress LaRue. I think I... I think Call of Duty, the pace that it's played at now with this slide cancel and all this shit, it really is kind of hard for me to get stoned to play. Uh, yo, Con Mixon, thanks for the tier one. You got some shit to take care of, Lou. We'll wait for you, brother. Captain Ron with the Prime. 
Apraxis, thank you so much for the tier one. Adam OFG, thanks for the prime. Yo, Marshall, what the fuck is going on, brother? Yo, chat, what is what is this subtrain we're on right now? I can't keep getting away with this. Bro, people are have already called me a scammer when the 50 gifteds come in and I don't smoke the weed and then they do another 50 and they're like, oh, that's 100. I'm like, no, it's got to be a clean 100. Gravity sucks was the reason why I was sucking that doink with the Amish and the elves the other day. We always appreciate your gravity. But right now, all my fucking focus and love gun is pointed straight at you, Marshall, for that 20 gifted, brother. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted. Jesus, Marshall. Holy fuck, I haven't stopped talking an hour and 12 minutes. I, I, I'm telling you, because I did not stream yesterday, I think my, my fucking yapping was constipated. I, I was constipated, and I took some fucking Miralax, and right now I'm shitting on you guys with this pointless yapping. I love it. Ashi Kaizen, thank you very much for the gifted sub, brother. Benjamin is 250 gifted subs from now? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm still going to keep the pen at an even 100. I don't care... You know, I've told myself, like, it's fucking insane for me to actually, like, say that out loud. Like, yo, I'm only gonna fucking dance like a clown and smoke this weed for 100 gifted. But I feel like it's... If I'm being honest with you guys, I got a good thing going here. You guys are always egging somebody on in the chat to gift 100. I think 100 is so many subs that it's hard for somebody to pull the trigger. So it just makes it... The goalpost, it gets further and further away for me to start smoking this weed we had it at 50 now it's 100 i don't know how the fuck i ended up with a job where i could just sit here talk play video games and somebody will drop 100 and see me start missing every single shot i lay down on a call of duty server and start giggling and making more meat jokes about the men in my chat but hey I, you know what i'm not when people i'm not going to correct anybody when no, when everybody's making a mistake by allowing me to get away with this i'm just not going to stop i got a good thing going here chat Yes, does my Call of Duty gameplay get fucked up immediately? Sure. But hey, we got the nuclear bomb on screen. We got 100 subs, and now I'm feeling a little bit lighter about the fact that I suck anyways. Yo, maybe Dre, thank you very much for the tier one. Chat, we got to talk about this fucking meta. You know, I've been sitting here thinking the subs, bullshit about whatever. We have to talk about all this bullshit. Bro, I was watching Zuma and uh, Dashi yesterday in Parasite. They're all in a private match talking about these guns and what should be meta and what shouldn't be. Everybody complaining about the rivals still, all this shit. I've got some pretty harsh takes that I think... Hey, listen, I live in ignorance. I'm not playing professional structure Call of Duty, so I shouldn't act like I know what's best. But I will say this. I truly do believe that the Call of Duty pro community are... They can't get out of their own way. They know the game better than anybody, but they're so fucking archaic. Like in the same way that they keep using TeamSpeak or the same way that they... Sometimes they just sound fucking stupid to me. They really do. Like, I know they're playing it 24-7. They're the ones that are playing on stage for hundreds of thousands of dollars and their entire career relies on this game. But them immediately GAing Ordinance Gloves after the Miami Major when Sky's got that three-piece with the Ordinance Nate on... Karachi 5-5 five, five, round 11. Bro, I cannot believe they fucking GA that. I mean, it's so unimpactful, I think, for the majority of gameplay competitively. And yeah, is it wild that there was like such a big swing and momentum in that series? It, it never ended up mattering because Optic won that anyways. But I actually think that there needs to be more depth and layers in competitive COD. And we haven't had that in a long time. Like, I think Octane actually made a really good argument because I saw Methods and everybody tweeting about it too. You know, back in the day, you had to be worried about your timings on like Warhawk Search and Destroy because there was strong hands and people started throwing these nades cross map and it just became a part of the game. I think the pro community has put themselves in a position where these GAs, they've given themselves too much power. Like, back in the day, GAs didn't exist. So whatever Call of Duty gave us, like, yeah, there was some GAs, but it, was, it wasn't as egregious and aggressive as it is now. Now, if there's even, like, a slight inconvenience in gameplay, it's gone. It's banned immediately. Like, and there's not even... As soon as something's banned, it's gone forever. 
And I still think like that is terrible for the community. Like there needs to be a much more rigorous system in place to get something removed from the game. Like I, I think the MTZ and all these assault rifles being gone before 24 hours were even up when the game released I think it's just dangerous. Like, it, I think it's insane that they did that. And now to have ordnance gloves too, I get both sides of the argument, but I just think we need to slow down with these GAs, brother. Like, I know we just want to fucking hit the hill and not think at all and just shoot our gun and gun skill and rotations be the end-all be-all, but I thought the ordnance gloves were really cool, bro. Like, there there were... You know how impossible it is for us to have a moment on stream to see a three-piece grenade and round 11 search and destroy happen like that? If you're a player on the other end of it, like, yeah, you're fucking like, why is this even possible? But, dude, NYSL, they should be rewarded for putting the time in, having all the tools available to them that nobody was smart enough to look into, and there was a wild event that happened. There was a, just, this shit was unbelievable from a viewing perspective i think the pro players are are too obsessed with making the game as less it, they don't want it to be fluky at all which I, I i promise you i understand i get it but at a certain point we got to understand that esports is entertainment and the more that we just fucking shave down and, and, and make this game as vanilla as possible, I just think it, we lose out on the opportunities for those big fucking oh shit moments. And I know that sounds... If I'm putting my mind as a pro player in, in their shoes, I, I get that that's not what you want to hear, but I think that that is actually something that we need to embrace. We need more depth to Call of Duty. And a long time ago, we were arguing for the opposite. It's just this push and pull game of fucking who knows what. In my opinion, I think some ARs think they should never lose a gunfight if they're on a heady. Yeah, I, I agree. Bro, This the, everybody complaining about the rival is fucking nuts, man. It truly is. You know, if the rival were so fucking good and overpowered, when we were playing Terminal Hardpoint... Why didn't we have more people running a rival? It was four ARs versus four ARs. When we play high rise, normally you see like three ARs and one rival, at least when I'm playing in fucking ranked. I don't know about CDL. Brother, the MCW has been the do it all gun. And I'm so sorry that sometimes you got killed by a rival cross map because somebody hit some unbelievable shots. But, bro, the MCW has been to me the best gun in the game. It's like the people that are running MCWs don't want there to be a gun that can even contest them at a medium to long range. They're talking from a place of privilege, Octane said, shooting against the best players. That's how they're forming their opinion. Yeah, like any gun is going to be overpowered if the best players are using it. Like there's just no way around that. There's no way around that. And it, it's insane to me that We've got all these new guns that have been coming in. I actually think Call of Duty's been doing a great job adding in new guns in, in these season roadmaps. Like, the BP-50, to me, is, like, the most fun AR that they have in the game right now. And I actually think the HRM kind of reminds me with a certain barrel of, like, the ASM-1 from AW. Like, if, 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 if there was a world where competitive COD, we only could have one assault rifle and one sub be, like, the meta... I'm not sure how it would actually feel for gameplay, but I think the BP-50 and the, and the, a, and the HRM should be the meta subs. Like, the, the HRM is kind of like the... It reminds me of the ASM-1, the way it looks and the way it shoots, but it's kind of like the MP-7, where it's got enough ammo in the clip and a little to no recoil so you can get those long-range kills. But even close range, like, if somebody's running an MCW, the HRM is not going to kill you, like, in a fucking... You're not going to get exploded on like you can with a rival or an uzi like the 
The HRM to me just feels like the perfect balance of fire rate, the ability to win gunfights close range, to win gunfights long range, I don't actually know how it would play out. I just think the HRM, truthfully, this is why it shouldn't be a part of GA discussions. I just think the HRM is probably the most fun sub to use. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be going on like, I shouldn't be standing on business for something I don't actually know or believe. But I just think the pros need to get the fuck out of their own way with these GAs. Nate shot on what? Beef stew, beef stew, beef stew. Are you shitting in Italy right now, scum? Hey, scumper. What's up? What's up, brother? We miss you. I'm actually so sad you're not on right now. How was the flight, brother? You got a uh, you got a uh, jet lag at all? <laughs> Don't know, yo, Prime. I got you, baby. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get let me get this up here. I want to get back to this GA discussion. Hold on. Prem said, Zuma needs to be the head of GAs and have a committee behind him like 9 or 13 if they're going to continue GAing shit. Look, I'm not opposed to having... Uh, I think Zuma and Octane should be like two people that can help with the GAs, but if you're a pro player, I get it. You're probably thinking like, yo, Tommy, Sammy, you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but I, they, knew what, they know what they're talking about. Yo, Seppi, thanks for the tier two sub, brother. Letho Brotado, thanks for the prime repetition. Thanks for the prime. Madigan, thanks for the tier one. Fogel with the tier one. What size are you in that jersey? Uh, the jersey's a medium, brother. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is all I'm saying. I don't know what guns make the most sense, but I think rank play should have all assault rifles available and all subs available. And we should just use rank play as a testing ground for all of these guns. I just don't think there's a reason for us to be playing. And it. And I want to say this real quick. A long time ago, the reason why we always wanted rank play was obviously to have something more to play for and have a competitive experience because it was impossible to do it with the public playlist. Like we just had to play GBs or we had to play UMGs. And so when we finally got ranked play, I was excited that the game that you were playing in ranked was exactly what the pros were playing because I felt like that was actually a big barrier of entry for competitive Call of Duty. Like what you were watching on stage, you couldn't have that experience playing yourself. And I think that's why a lot of professional sports, like traditional sports, are very popular. Like the game of golf that you see, the game of basketball that you see, like you can do that in person, your own. You got a ball, you got a court, you can go and do it. Call of Duty's never been up, set up that way. And I'll tell you what, now that we fucking have it, now that we're playing exactly what the pros are playing, I hate it. Like, I, I, I think rank play, I want to use these guns. I don't, I, I, I just don't understand how we could be sitting here with five subs available. I've been saying it for a fucking two months. How are there five subs available in rank play, but I can only use one AR? I can physically, through the limitations of the game, I can only use the MCW, but I have five subs to choose from. Why? Why is that a thing? It is fucking insane to me that we ban every assault rifle in the game 48 hours after the game released. And as soon as it's banned... The pros are never bringing it back. There's not even a conversation to bring it back. It's impossible. There needs to be some sort of protocol or something happening in the pro community about these GAs. They need to be revisited. They need to be talked about. There needs to be like an independent audit system. We've now given so much leverage and we've given so much uh responsibility we've given so much power to the professional players there needs to be an independent audit system or somebody like a universal body of people that can check the pro players right where they need to be checked and that's just like these fucking 
irreversible bands that they have they they've they have put shackles on the game in the in the gameplay experience there needs to be some sort of uh, of of variety I, I don't know i don't know how we get it i don't know what the right system is but all i know is what we have now is very frustrating for me who enjoys the game competitively but can't enjoy it more than i'd like to GA shouldn't be a thing. All right, Mike, we gotta we gotta we gotta draw some lines here. First of all, GA should certainly be a thing. There are items and things in the game that are detrimental to competitive COD. Like there needs to be things that are offered in multiplayer that are not available to be used in competitive Call of Duty. That I agree with. But the level of scrutiny that the pro players have with the GAs. Banning out every single assault rifle in, in, in the AR class, that, that right there just can't happen under any circumstance. What up, Ali? How'd you sleep? Yeah, you slept well? Yeah. Good, man. I'm happy to hear it. I'm just sitting here yapping with the boys. Can you believe I've been sitting here for an hour and a half talking to my chat? I haven't even started playing yet. I'm not even a, I'm not even a video game streamer. I'm a just chatter. But um, everybody say hi to Ali, chat. It's my nephew. He's in town with uh, my sister. We went to Universal yesterday. He's got the OG Optic hoodie that we sent him a long time ago. I'm like, yo, I love the fact that you still have this hoodie, but I need to get you smelly like thieves. I, I think I've been a bad uncle at that point. Look at that. Oh, they're all saying Ollie, and they're putting a W on it because you're a W. You're a W kid. Wally. But we need to get more guns in the mix, gentlemen. If, if everybody's just going to complain, if all the MCW players are going to complain about the, the rival, then maybe we just ban the rival and we ban the MCW and we get some different guns in here. We got to do something different, man. I'm over it. Cringe shot? Yo, Chi Rod, Ch Trod. We'll see you later, brother. Take care. Nice to never know you. Oh, you've been following since 2016? Why the hell did you call me cringe? I don't get it. Yo, Churro Go, thanks for the tier one, brother. Lycan, thank you very much for the tier one. Deekster, thanks for... Ooh, I mispronounced that for sure. Deet Xer, thank you very much for the prime. Stifer, it's me, Fear. Prem with the gifted subs. Sea Wims, Belm, thank you guys all so much for the subs, gentlemen. All right, Ollie, I'm going to get started playing here soon. Maybe you go turn me on in the living room or something. What do you I think uh I think Ann Haley's gonna take you out uh to see some of the views out here in LA. It's a little cloudy, but I'm hoping let me see, is the weather gonna get any better? Have you guys talked about the weather at all? No, she's gonna go to Milwaukee She's gonna Oh, you're gonna get a breakfast sandwich? Oh, let's go. Ooh, I think it might be cloudy all day. Either way, it'll still be nice to see the views. Mm -hmm. And honestly, too, when it's kind of rainy like this, uh if she takes you to the beach, there might be some like fog. It looks really cool, like straight out of like a science fiction movie or something. I wonder what kind of breakfast sandwich she's getting you. I don't eat breakfast, but I am jealous. Oh, bacon egg sandwich? Ooh, you're about to have some fun today. I can already tell. You're gonna. I think today is going to be the best day yet, even though Universal was really cool. We got Ali a Bowser hat. Uh, we went on the mummy. We did... What else did we do, Ali? Uh, we did the Simpsons ride. We did Harry Potter. That was really cool. Yeah, we had a good time yesterday. I had fun. And now, maybe you can play some morning Fortnite. You played Fortnite last night? That's awesome. I love that for you. We got to get you uh We got to get you a monitor for home. I got to get you a monitor. We'll figure this out. Gave Ali a, key, a high ground keyboard. I got to get him a new controller, too. He doesn't play claw, but... He said he's diamond and uh, no build on 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 Fortnite. I'm like, no, oh, you wait, you're diamond in build? Oh no way. Okay, so you're wait. If we got you like a scuff controller or a battle beaver, so you could have these buttons on the back, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna figure it out, Ali. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Have fun today, okay? I'll see you later afternoon. Okay. Behind y'all. Thanks for the tier one, brother Starbot. Thank you so much for the sub music. Thanks for the tier one. Put them on the sticks. Yo, listen, chat. Right now, Ali's not touching my controller. L, uncle, 
yo, Baby Yaga, why are you guys on my ass right now? What did I do? What, I've been a great uncle so far. But he's not, he's not playing ranked on my account. I, I'm already struggling as it is. Bro, the first day of season three, I think I lost like 10 games. Somebody dropped 100 gifted subs. I started ripping the pen. I started playing like shit. I gotta, I gotta lock in today. Yo, I am K. Thank you so much for the tier one. J L V H D. Thank you very much for the prime. Honestly, man, is there anything going on on the competitive subreddit about all these streams last night? Because I actually want to get factual information about these GAs. I want to hear what Zuma actually said about these GAs. Give me two seconds. I'm going to pause this music. I want to go to this uh, play screen desktop. Let me hear this real quick. Exactly, bro. Exactly. You guys got to get this is three minutes and 51 seconds. I'm going to watch this real quick, chat. And then we're going to see this bundle on stream. You guys got to get the combos going. And last time I asked about the fucking me that nobody was talking in there that it was being ignored that people were being ignored if i personally could pick anything it'd be bp50 and, and it's not right? it's not being guy. ignored <laughs> i actually i'm not ag's way if i can't lie no like okay, so it's not being ignored, never, never so what's two going on in the ga chat no right now what is going on in the ga chat right now what's going on in there I don't know. Everyone's not on their fucking phone. Everybody's on their him. phone. They're gamers. Wouldn't that make the most sense? Though? Nobody like, does fucking though. jack shit. Why wouldn't BP50 in the rivalry? I agree. Wait, what the Todd fuck are they doing? It's quiet for you guys? I mean, I have it. Hold on, bros. Yeah, they Tommy. fucking sit there. They do yeah, not. Tell me they don't have their hey, cell phone. Hey, 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 they, they need to go talk to their team. So then they can't just speak their fucking whatever they're saying. They're gonna talk to their team and then come to the conversation right, with their team's opinion. Right, but how about you hit the group chat? Like, yeah, you know what? Yo, man down. Give me two seconds, bro. I'm gonna get to you, brother. You guys have me on a wild sub stream right now, so thank you. I just want to hear this whole video. My chat knows that if I keep pausing this video, it's gonna take us three hours to get through 20 minutes. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna listen to it all the way through. I know I got this yapping bit, but I'm not gonna yap all the way through. I'm gonna talk to my team about this. We'll get back to you. Boom. Dash Boston. Dash fucking Florida. Dash fucking boom. Boom. Let's have some good <laughs> fucking communication. You guys fucking should be practicing this shit every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody fucking talks. Bro, back in our heyday, Lamar, everybody talked to everybody now, bro. That's true. I, I see the fucking energy y'all be giving to each other at events, bro. Like, I don't know. Y'all don't fuck with each other. Who's, who's uh, munching in the it's, yeah, it's, it's, who's it's a cult. Yeah, the everyone mic, is just, every, it's every man. It's every team for themselves. No bullshit. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Bro, there's no, there's nothing. And it's also every sub. Somebody got to make their bread. Like, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, why? Why doesn't why why can't the rival that current state now with no, the BP not be a guys, thing? Why can't that be a thing? No guys, you need to be so 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 you, You're listen, not gonna want that age. It's gonna be hella BPs and sub getting smoked. Listen, what you guys need Go ahead is, and trying is, to do this conversation is, for the BP. Guys, you guys need a GA meeting once a month. <laughs> No, 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 you're laughing. Well, I, you're I, actually, agree. Agree. No, I agree. You're right. Hey, I, I agree. No, guys, no, no he's guys, right, guys, though. That's stop. what I guys, agree. Guys, 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 we should the game. all be in a Discord. <laughs> every, everybody from every team should be in a Discord. We should be able to coordinate a time where everybody's in a Discord, and we go through, and we give our opinions. And we should be coordinated, too. Nobody should be able to speak. There should only be one person speaking, and then we'll go one by one and let people have their thoughts and get their thoughts across. That way nobody speaks over each other. And at the end of the day, like, we got to come to a conclusion and try and make the map fucking better. Like, people should be able to back up their points and validate their points. So we should be able to come to a conclusion here. But All right, I'm going to pause this real quick, yo. Listen, man, I'm going to say something that's faded. I've said it before. I will say it again. I don't know how it would play, but I genuinely think that there should be interest around trying it. When the MTZ was available in the game before they G8'd it, it was like the first 72 hours when the game came out. I, I, I genuinely believe that we should be approaching Call of Duty like Pro Mod did. I think there should be like one MCW, one BP50, one Rival, and one Uzi or HRM. The, we're, I, I cannot believe that I'm looking at the chat and like the solution to all this is to take the fucking barrel off the Rival. This could be solved in such an easy way. Like, we're already using roles on teams. Like, oh, like Dashie made a joke. Like, oh, after this event, I'm going to run a sub full time. Like, we have ARs. We have subs. Let's actually make roles matter. You know? Like, everybody's saying, oh, the MTZ was so overpowered. Like, the one person that got to use the MTZ would be, like, final form on the map. They would be unkillable. Well, let me tell you, like, this works really, really well 
for somebody running Jet with an op. And I know they're very different games. I'm not trying to compare attack shooter to an arcade shooter like Call of Duty. But in a world where we're trying to figure out which gun should be used and what's overpowered and what's not overpowered, like, let's just take the fucking confusion and frustration out of the situation and stick everybody on one allocated class so that there's no more contention around individual performances. Like, oh, he's running a fucking MCW on Invasion Hardpoint. So we're going to really watch for Dashy to take over on this map. And let's see who can be the best rival player while you've got somebody using a BP-50 and somebody else is using an HRM. I don't know. I, I genuinely do believe that there is a world where preset roles and classes could actually make a lot of sense. Why does that? I don't, I don't think it sounds that awful. And maybe it's not one gun of every gun that needs to be used. Maybe it's like, okay, there's two MCWs and there's two rivals on the map. Maybe it's this, the same two guns, but you have to split it up two to two. And it has to be that way, no matter what. I don't know. I just don't think that taking the barrel off the rival is a solution in any way. Well, hey, we Tom, can't you're right, do bro. that unless we all get into a call together. And it's really frustrating because you guys are all morons. All the pros are morons. You guys are all <laughs> oh, yeah, morons. You're a fucking genius. And, and, and the problem is I'm not any smarter. You know what I'm saying? So we all need to fucking figure yeah, out know, a way bro. to get in here. Hey, Dante, listen, you don't need to add the extra side comments, okay? I've already done enough, okay? The brain dead, you Dante, know. if it wasn't for me, there'd be hard snaking all year That's right fine, now. that's there'd fine. Be hard snaking I right got a new now. controller, come on. You know what I'm saying? We might have to bring it back if the fucking meta doesn't change. So. <laughs> yeah. But I really do believe you guys have to set up a call. And guys, there's nothing going on right now, so I am so down to set up a call whenever. We can make, we can make a time right now. We can do it tonight if people actually want to get on right now and talk this out tonight. That way tomorrow you guys can go into it knowing what the fuck's going on. Or we can set something up for another time. You just got to coordinate in that group chat, which unfortunately I'm not in. Why? Because I'm going to use it for content. Which is facts. So you better not have me in there anyway. There's no fucking point. So you might as well just leave. You're a weird out there. No, Tom, keep that shit in the house. Don don't give a fuck about making the game better. He just wants content. Bro, it's a little bit of both. Keep that shit in the house. What's wrong with you? Scrap. I'm a businessman at the end of the day. It's a little bit of both, brother. It's a little bit of both. You're loving this right now. You know, you great content right now. It's also a sub at heart. Of course, I'm loving it. But but let's be honest. I have I helped with the snaking. And now I am here trying to help you guys coordinate something to get this GA going. You know what I mean? I am. Bro, the pro players should be fucking lucky that they got someone like Zuma to have conversations and, and have moments like this on stream, bro. People need to understand this is entertainment at the end of the day. You're not going to be sitting, getting paid a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to play this game professionally if there aren't people making uh, moments in real time where... The community is so invested in it. We need we need people like Zuba. This is insane. We're we're going down too much of a rabbit hole, but I I, I just think pros got to get out of their own way, brother. I don't I don't I don't think that they should be allowed to have full autonomy on the GAs. There needs to be now that there's enough retired players who are doing content full time and whatever the fuck these pro players are going to think about the next thing that comes out of my mind or my mouth, I don't care. If there are pro players that they respect that are doing content now, I think that they should have a small percentage vote on what is used in pro call duty. I really do believe it. As long as they're not faded and just sensationalizing everything, but, like, I think Octane, Scump, Methods, uh, Zuma, those people would be, like, great, fresh off the retirement. They play the game 12 hours a day. I don't know. There needs to be something else that's happening here besides the way that we're handling GAs now. I cannot believe that this game has been out since fucking November. We're in April now. We've played two majors, and we're still having this same... Uh, go around merry-go-round conversation about the mcw and the rival like can we just open up rank play to more guns and see what floats to the top or give people roles like hey you have to use two subs you have to use two ars deal with it like i don't know what the fuck we're talking about trying to get this barrel off the rival like are you are you gonna are you gonna use a rival to get somebody off the p2 fucking god tier hard point setup no you're gonna have an mcw out like 
I know that the rival has a lot of crazy moments on the map, but for the most part, the MCW has been the do-it-all gun on the majority of the maps that we have played. They're, 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 this, I don't know. I don't know what the right answers is, are. I'm not the, the one that's going to figure it out, but I think there should be like one BP50 on the map, one MCW, one Uzi, and one rival. Let's get some variety, but it still have the structure of roles in Call of Duty. It, we're never going to get a pick and ban system in the map or in the game, but something needs to change with the GAs. Because I'll tell you what, guys, well, how far is Champs away? What's, what, when is the last event? What is the last event of the year? Do we know? It's either June or July. Let me tell you guys, we're in fucking April already, gentlemen. We are in April. So I don't think any of this is, with the way that these guys move and make decisions, nothing that substantial is going to change. But there needs to be, when going into next year's title, some sort of governing body that is not what it is today. It cannot be these just uh, like the pro players banning things as soon as the game drops. There needs to be time taken. There needs to be input from people like Octane, from people like Zuma. There needs to be something more than what we have now. Because I guarantee you, nothing is going to fucking change in time for champs. And then if, if, there, if something was drastic, drastically changed, we're just going to spend the last two, three months of this competitive year with all the current pro players bitching about it. We're fucked, is what I'm saying. We're, I, said, I said, we all should cry. I, I, I normally say don't cry, Abu, but I think we all should be crying right now because we're fucked. It's not good. We got problems. There's a lot of problems. They're not going to get fixed. I said, don't cry. Yo, Reptar, thank you so much for the tier one. Drifts, thank you very much for the prime. Mark the King, thank you very much for the tier one. Cactus Joe, what up, Spirit? Thank you guys all so much for the subs. Yo, man down. I'm the fucking man down. I fucked up so much, brother. You gifted me 10. I didn't even suck you. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, brother. Here's a nice firm handshake. Look in the eye. Man down. Thank you, bro. Haters, thanks for the prime. All right, gentlemen. I've been yapping for an hour and 40 minutes, dude. This was impressive yapping. Prem with the $3 donut. He said the NBA has a thing called the MBPA. You, did you just explain the Players Association to me? But well, this is helpful for the stream, though. The NBA has a thing called the MBPA, which is nine-person committee, which they make decisions for the entire NBA and voted in. So when it comes to COD, they can do the same thing. Make it plain and simple. Yeah, I, I know the Players Association. I don't think it's apples to apples of what we need uh, in the pro Call of Duty community, but I certainly see the validity behind what you're saying, for sure. Um, burglar asking the real questions, the questions that really matter. Hey, Nate Shot, do you think control freaks really help with your aim or no? Don't. Uh... <laughs> no. I used them. I took them off. They help a little bit, but I think, no, I don't know. All right, chat. Do I agree on a player's union? Listen, when you say union, we need to be very careful what we say. We need, it should be, maybe it could be called a union, but normally a union is problematic. I don't know what the right answer is. I need to talk to Zuma. Glumbo, thanks for the sub, brother. Appreciate you, baby. Guys, it's too late. Yo, we got two months left in this fucking season. We need to figure it the fuck out before the next game comes out. We need a better system than it is today. Let's do a flank episode. Yo, Ben, I'm down to do a flank episode, but I need to get all the facts in front of me because right now, genuinely, I do feel like I actually would bring a very good perspective to the group, but I don't think I'm actually fully uh, educated on all the perils and turmoil that the pro players feel, and I certainly am an entertainer as well. But I don't think there's anything that I can say right now where I deserve to have my opinion heard because I just haven't been in the mix in competitive COD for so long. Like, I wasn't here over the course of the last seven years when these GAs really started to get aggressive. The pro players had more say in what is in the game and what's not in the game. But I, I, I just think that pro players, much like myself when I was their age and in their situation, no matter what, they think they know what is best. 
and there's nothing that anybody can say that is going to make them feel any different. Like when I heard about Scrappy ranting about, uh, oh, Ben, you and him were having a conversation about uh, challenger players and messaging coaches. Look, I actually understand where Scrap's coming from. Like people should be picking you up because of how impactful you are on the map and everybody sees it and everybody knows it. Like when you're in these challenger lobbies or you're playing eights, it's like word of mouth has always what has brought you to the top of the, you know, you've risen to the top, the cream of the crop. That's how you get on teams. But I'll tell you what, if I, if there was a challenger team that was, that just won the event, say all four people from the challenger event in Miami, all four, uh, all, all four could potentially join a CDL team. If somebody messaged me and told me like, yo, listen, I just need an opportunity. This is how bad I want it. This is how I'm going to help your team. Like I would always, no matter what, even with how I would feel like in the same position scrap is coming from, I'm always going to have, if somebody's like explaining why they want it and why they think they would be the best for this team, how the fuck do you think I ended up and scanned my way on the optic with like the control of these rosters? The world works by talking to people a certain way and presenting yourself a certain way. So that's another rabbit hole we can get down. But I, I'm using that as a point to say like the pro players, they need people to play devil's advocate. Because they just they they think they know what's best, but at the end of the day, I I don't think they know what's best. Like they know go, they know ball, they know Call of Duty. They're the best players in the world, but that doesn't mean that they are experts in what is going to make the game more interesting and give the game more depth and be more fun to watch and play. They just don't have enough experience to do that. They just don't want to deal with the fucking dope checking like moments of the optionality that you would have if GAs didn't exist. I think you make Zuma and Octane the head of GAs. Let's just get real faded. Let's just let's just let's just have the worst take that the pro players would hate the most. They know what's best for them selfishly, said Octane. Exactly. Let's make Spence do it. Oh my God. He would be public enemy number one. I think Spence actually understands competitive gaming very, very well. And I think he should definitely have an input on these GAs. He's a smart guy when it comes to games. But I, I don't know what the right answer is, but I would love to be on a flank episode for it, man. Just let me know and I'll be there. Just let me know and I'll be there. Yeah, I agree. Spencer has diffused a lot of situations, I would imagine. Even, bro, I saw uh, I saw John Nelson. Yo, so John Nelson used to work for MLG, and this guy was like the commissioner for Call of Duty for a very, very long time. Bro, this guy put out like a goddamn master's thesis out for the uh, Apex community around them removing the dropship so that people just spawn into POIs at random. And I don't, I can't speak to that. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. All I can see from the pro players is that they hated that idea. But I'll tell you what, if somebody comes to the table who's been around competitive gaming this long, who has been working longer than some of these guys have probably been playing video games. This guy, John Nelson, was a fucking ruthless commissioner. This guy was so good at his job. I'm like, if he's coming to the table with this thoughtful of an explanation and the first knee-jerk reaction is just, ah, it's a terrible idea... There's no way that this guy who is as smart as he is and has been around competitive gaming longer than these guys have been walking the earth, some of them, that it could be that bad of an idea. I'm telling you, bro. Some of these pro players, they just need to get out of their own fucking way. They don't know what's best, even though I, I would be thinking the same fucking thing. You don't play the professional Call of Duty. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Why would Spencer be able to have any say or have any thoughtful opinion that should ever be uh you know taken into account but i'm telling you bro like just because they're not in the server and can't play at that level doesn't mean that they don't know what's best of a balance for pro players and for the entertainment and for the community that plays the game in ranked there needs to be a balance struck and we're far too down the rabbit hole of pro players having like just this irreparable 
uh, jurisdiction on the game that we're all trying to love and enjoy and, and watch and have entertain us. I'm getting on this fucking game right now, boys. I want to see what the fuck is going on with this bundle, gentlemen. Y'all have been talking to me about this bundle. I need to see it for myself. We need to see it for myself. Can I just say, though, we are on a 399 sub train. This has been by far and away the longest yapping session I've had at the beginning of a stream in a long time. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I missed you guys yesterday. I wasn't on. I went to Universal. We had a great day. But holy fuck, does it be feel good to be back at this command center? And thank you guys so much for now the mistake hitting me with a 400 sub train with another five gifted, dude. I am uh, blown away by the amount of love and support that has been shown on this stream in these last two months. You guys have changed the course of the rest of my life. You guys have done this time and time again. But let me just say, I have had so much fun doing this content thing full time. And thank you guys for being here and allowing me to do this every single day. I don't like doing these fucking heartfelt uh you know thank yous just because every streamer does it i know if I, i'm a pretty pessimistic person i like to see the worst in everybody it's just who i am i don't know i've got to get better at it i'm not complaining as much i'm trying not to be as pessimistic or a realist i guess i would say but genuinely gentlemen i've wanted to try to get back into content full time again for a long time i'm still all in on hundred thieves i'm still contributing to the business in a lot of ways but i now get to spend my time a little bit more how i think I should be spending it. And this content thing has just been so much fun. And you guys have given me so much confidence that I can still do this shit every day like I used to when I was younger. So thank you guys so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Juggernaut, thanks for the prime sub. Reacts with the five gifted. I really appreciate you, gentlemen. Reacts, Mistake, Jordan, King Ellie, Alex, DBY, Bukit, OnlyFans, Glumbo, Haters, Ozny, Reptar, Dry Fits, Mark the King, What Up, Spirit, Thank you guys all so much for the subs. Love you, brother. Thank you, gentlemen. And by the way, for anybody that gets angry at me doing this shit because my wife's pointed out now, once again, I'm doing it on purpose, but I have seen too many TikToks and too many videos of Sketch and fucking Trump. I am now doing this just subconsciously. And I, I've been saying that for three days now. I'm going to keep telling you, I can't, I can't stop. I said, I don't want to stop, but I can't stop if, even if I tried. I said, don't cry. All right, let me see. Should I, I'm, I'm going to take a piss real quick before I even look at this bundle because I got to pee. So let me turn this music back on. And let me go check out this fucking bundle, gentlemen. Let me go check out this bundle. Let me pee. And then we see the bundle. I said, don't cry. Special team, special player, special stream. Where's LaRue? I want to play with LaRue. I want to jerk him. Rolling.
All right, boys. I'm all yapped out. Let's go. Honestly, when I finish yapping on stream, I think the streams just get worse. So hopefully I can keep it to fucking together today. And I'll tell you what. I got just what I need from Dr. Dubs. This man just wrote me a prescription for love. Holy shit. I just got a colonoscopy a year ago, a year ago, but I think I might need another dubs. Thank you, doctor. Yo, dubs, appreciate the tan gifted, man. You're the fucking. You're so much cooler than Doctor Day, bro. You might be the coolest doctor in this chat now, brother. Yo, troll man lad, thanks for the gifted sub, brother. Flask with the prime, assault with the prime. Doctor Dubs hit me with the tier one as well. Juggernaut with the prime. Let's go. All right, chat. So, am I really gonna fucking? Be six to midnight, just creaming when I see this new bundle. Is it that fire? All right. Now, I may not know what all the answers are for the GAs and the pro community. All I know is I want to run around rank with a BP-50 and an HRM in my hand. But let me tell you, I do know ball when it comes to customization. If anybody says that they know skins and bundles more than I do, I will just tell you, you're, you're, you're just fucking wrong, okay? Even when I'm on stage with Tarek and we're watching Valorant matches, dude, I don't give a fuck who's winning. I just judge all their players specifically on what skins they decide to use. Anybody using a Glitch Pop Vandal is a fucking serial killer, and you won't convince me otherwise. Don't trust whoever uses a Glitch Pop Vandal on stage. All right? I'm just going to say that. So now, with that being said, let me see what the fuck is going on with this new bundle that everybody said that I am going to lose my mind over. Let's fucking... Let me see. Let me tell you. Let me see if it passes the vibe check. I got my wolf... I'm ready to go. Let me stop edging you boys and let me just... Five, four, three. Don't stroke too quick now. Don't speed up. Slow down. Three, two, one. Come on! Oh my fucking... God. Yo, what the... What? It, oh, I saw this in the preview. I didn't think they'd give it to us right away. Holy shit. Holy shit. Keep that up and you'll be famous in no time. Brother. You know what the color combination reminds me of? Uh, level 37 through 39 on Halo 2. It was like a purple and pink. Purple red. This might be the best. See, now here's the problem that I have. This thing is cold, and yeah, that's a big purchase. That's, that's, that's a big purchase for me. But let me just say this, man. Call of Duty, I have a request, which you and I have had a long history with the way that our store is structured. Let me just say, oh, wait, is this a fucking MCW? Oh, my God, wait, wait, they... All right, first of all, this might... Oh, wait, with this music going on, shut the fuck up, chat. Oh, oh shit. Today's going to be a great fucking day. We got Ford and Subtrain. I got a new MCW. I got a new operator to use. I am going to lose it on this Friday afternoon. Yo, hey, hey, I fucking love the MCW. I love the whole bundle. But can I just say this, gentlemen? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. They gave us this fucking blueprint, and it's actually, like, the attachments close to, like, the meta that you could use. Let me turn this music down. Yo, wait. They... This might be the most intact blueprint that we could have ever had. Am I actually going to be able to use this gun? I'm not going to... I'm not going to use that damn claw grip. I'm using the Regal stock, so my gun's actually going to look like this. But, yo, we need more fucking MC... We need more... If the... Ri we have... We've had a million MCW blueprints. Can we get a blueprint on the rival, please? But uh, let me say this as well. Oh, I got to inspect it. I'll inspect it. Don't worry. Ooh, the Inferno-on. Inferno on it would kind of be like fire and ice. I see where you're going. Hold on, chat. I got more yapping to do. I said I was done yapping. I'm not. 
Yo, Call of Duty, this is what I want to say. You just gave us the dopest fucking operator that I've seen in a long time, but let me just... Can you just make the gloves flat white? The gloves are the only thing that we really get to see, brother. And you come in here, you give us this cape. Why is my game spazzing out right now with the FPS? Why, why would you make... Why would you ruin this incredible art design by giving us snow camo pants just make everything flat white the boots white everything white what do we gotta add in this generic ass fucking call of duty army camo bro just make it all flat white white boots white satchel white pants we don't need the two-tone with the gray man it looks amazing lmafo listen i I, I, let me, hold on, let me equip this operator real quick. Let me equip this to my favorite loadout in pubs. Oh, we got a striker as well. Oh, and we got a, a flash freeze stun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, let me, let me, let me, let me see what's shaking here. Just give me two seconds. See, this is my, I mean, to me now, the gloves just look like a generic Call of Duty character. I think you need the white gloves. I think you make this flat white. You make it a bright flat white. This MCW is insane. You think this skin is ass? Let me tell you, brother. You might be faded. Yo. Holy shit. Holy shit. Brother. Mm. Brother. Oh, brother. Jimmy. Jimmy, it's gonna get real weird in here today, Jimmy. This gonna be a long stream. Holy shnikes. What am I witnessing on this thing? We straight up got some crack rock in Call of Duty. Finally, bro, they gave us all this weed smoke and now I can do that hard stuff. Thank the Lord. Wow, I'm going to take that crystal stick it right up my ass. Jesus Christ. Yep. 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 I don't even care, bro. I'm using build and break all day. I don't I don't give a shit about this flash hider. The MCW is the worst gun in the game anyways, right? Yeah, okay. Fuck it. So what happens when we put the fire on it? Holy shit. I'm not even trying to be, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know what, to, I, I'm not even trying to sound like a fucking creator right now. This is the coolest shit I've ever seen in Call of Duty. This is the coolest camo and gun, bar none, knee jerk reaction. I know it's unfair for me to say that so blindly. This is the coolest thing that I've ever seen in Call of Duty, and I don't care. I don't care if you disagree. It does not... Brother, look at my gun right now. I'm not getting off this game. Are you hard right now, brother? I'm hard as a rock. I'm hard as this crystal that I'm about to pull off my gun and inhale. Are we serious right now? Are we serious right now? Yo, Dirt by Dad, thanks for the tier one. King Ming, thanks for the prime. Average Joe, Just Dezo, Hazus, Dong the Last, Blind Squirrel, Drip, Krios, Trollman, Flask Up. How many subs did you guys just drop in the last three minutes? Try it in multiplayer. The Tracer is badass. Well, inspect it one more time so I can finish. Yo, Plastic, you know I got you. Hey, by the way, that type of comment, you should be a sub, brother. We're at a 433 sub train. We're going 1,000 sub train, bro. I'm shaking ass on stream, brother. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. People are saying there's other camos I can run on this thing, too, that actually look pretty good. Let me see what this interstellar looks like. Not as good. I can already tell you, not as good. Actually, this uh, platinum could look... Actually, nothing looks as good right now as the, the magma camo. Hold on, let me just see this. All right, this is a little bit more uh, like a simpler colorway. I mean, this is cold. 
Dude. Chat, uh, real quick. Everything I said about the GAs and bullshit. Honestly, bro, I think... I think we should just have, uh, four MCWs. Would probably be the best... setup for Pro Call of Duty. Fuck the rival. That gun's overpowered as shit, man. That gun, is, that gun does not belong on stage. I honestly think we should go back to A1 Day 1, bring back Terminal Hardpoint. Let's just go full four MCWs. Thoughts? See, Chad, I love that you guys are getting into this customization shit with me. Because this is all Fortnite is, bro. These fashion shows and stuff. And now nobody can call me a fair weather customization weapon camo fan. Anybody that's anybody other than me, let me just, I, I'm going to gatekeep. I'm gatekeeping customization in Call of Duty. At least in the pro community. I have inted in and bought every bundle, no matter how good or bad, just because I'm a sucker for changing my fit. Let me say, this is now like my fucking Super Bowl, brother. I deserve a camo like this. It's all about me. I said, don't cry. I said, don't cry, Abu. They made these camos for me because I'm the only one that spends the money. All right. You guys are saying solid white could look cool. Let me take a peek real quick. And I, actually, any of these solid colors could look pretty damn good. Whoa. If you want to go like blue on blue, that could actually look pretty fire. Let me see here. Oh, which one tickles us the most? Even this, like, off this sand color looks kind of cool. This looks like some straight dune shit. Where'd it go? Hold on, I didn't even put it on. Let me get back to this sand. My dune. Eh, actually, no. No, 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 no. I'm gassing it. I don't think the solid white's gonna look that good either. Yeah, it's pretty underwhelming. Oh, actually, hold on. No, I take it all I take it all back. Yo. <laughs> Bro, see. Now, Call of Duty, let me just say this, man. I would have unloaded, I would have drained my bank account and my balls if you would have given me this on the rival as well. Like, dude, let me just pay like an extra fee to get this camo on all my guns, man. Like, the fact that it's only one MCW. <sighs> Now I gotta now I gotta be an MC. Try ultras? I don't even think I own Ultras camo. Can I use it from last year's? Does last year's work? I think I bought it. Let me see. Let me see. What do I own? Let me. Where's it under? Special. Um wait, what's this pink doohickey look like? Nah. I mean, how can you be ooh, the optic actually looks pretty cool with it. Do I have to buy the ultra camo to see it? What does the geoprint look like on it? Yo, the geoprint's actually kind of fire because it's translucent. You can get the geoprint and the color, and it's got this, like, blue aura around it. This is actually kind of dope. I don't even want to play the fucking game. I just want to see the train and try to match the outfits together. Borealis zombies? All right, hold up, hold up. Let me buy this damn ultra camo. I just want to see. You guys are saying all this shit. Hold on. Give me two seconds, chat. I'm gonna go full screen real quick. Sorry about the flashbang. I got this Reddit page pulled up. I gotta type in my damn password when I need to buy something on COD. There's gotta be a way to turn that off, but uh, it certainly helps if I'm potentially getting hacked. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Bear with me. Moving slow. I don't want to hear any anything about me buying the bu the Toronto bundle anyways. Not a word, chat. We're, uh, this is for the love of the skins. This is for the love of the game. Just all passion right now, gentlemen. Just all passion. All right, let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. All right, I got the I got this stupid camo with this stupid team. Fuck me. They took on boy. I said don't. I said don't leave, Dill. Don't don't. Their camo is kind of dope. I ain't gonna cap. 
Uh, all right. You you guys asked for it. You said dance, clown, dance. I dance. It better have been worth it. Let me say that. It better have been worth it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That looks good. I mean, it's more of the same colors. It kind of just takes the original camo and puts steroids on it. That's pretty fire. I ain't gonna lie. This honestly is kind of the closest you can get to what's up, Ali? How we doing? We're back. Check out this cool camo I just got. The game audio is super loud. Sh shoot. You got your Bowser hat on too? Yo, chat, look at what we picked up in uh at Universal. Look at Ali. Looking good with this Bowser hat on. Here, duck down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we look good. We look good. You got the sniffles? You're going to get me sick, Ali, and I'm going to come all the way to Peoria to beat your butt. You get me sick. I'm, you know, my dad, when he would get sick, because he worked, man, he, he had a good reason to do it, but he would work outside in the winter as a carpenter. So anytime that we would get sick as kids, he would, he would basically quarantine himself. He wouldn't even look us in the eye. I wouldn't see my dad for a week because he was so afraid of getting sick, which made sense because he had to go work outside. I don't have the as good an excuse to be mad at you if you get me sick, but I think he passed that down to me. You're going to get me sick. But you know what? It was worth it because I haven't seen you in years. Come on. Look at this camo. Isn't this cool? Check out what happens when I inspect it. Takes out the crystal. Bang. Isn't that cool? And then you shoot. It's got tra like lasers that go past it. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Bowser hat, though. I'm glad you have it on again today. How was the breakfast sandwich? Yeah, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Why not? Eggs were too moist. The eggs were too moist. Oh, man. I like you like dry eggs. Okay. You like ketchup on your eggs? I don't really eat eggs, so... Yeah, so this new camo came out, and then we got this operator here. Like, look how cool I look in the lobby. I got crystals on me. It doesn't make me any better at the game. I still stink at it, but, you know, at least I look good while stinking, right? All right, hold on, Ali, because I was still going through some of these camos. Because, like, basically how it works on Call of Duty is you have all these camos that you can unlock by playing the game. And when you buy this, this bundle, which gave me the operator on the left, and it gave me, like, a blueprint of a new gun. So it takes a gun that's already in the game... And gives it the special effects that you see, which is why it has the crystals and stuff. So then you can take all your other camos that you've unlocked by playing the game, put it on the gun, and then it makes it look different. Like, look at this one. I put some fire on it. Now it's like fire and ice. How cool is that? That's real cool. Yeah. All right. All right, chat. What, hey, yo, what is the, uh, what does the assassination look like? Does the assassination have anything to do with the crystal? Hold on, I gotta go to my operator and put it on. Someone said um, they missed saving minutes from healing, then said they can beat me up. Somebody said they're gonna beat you up because they live 30 minutes away from the city you live in? Yeah. Okay. Well, here. Here's what I'll say. Your dad, I am good at video games, but I also do have a wide range network of people that can protect you i can guarantee you if that guy chows you he's not going to be able to chow me all right you ever seen the secret service like that that they have with the presidents i don't i'm not saying that i have that type of power but i know people dangerous people i got you brother hey good luck good good luck brother i you want to go band for band on who's beating whose ass because I promise you, if Ollie don't take care of you, I will. Ban that bozo. Oh, you got the cough? All right, Ollie. We got to... I love you, brother. And we're going to hang out later in an open space when it's not contained in this small room. I hope you feel better. And I hope you have a great day with Haley. We love you to death, Ollie. He's going to get me sick. Oh, brother. He's a great kid. I love hanging out with him, though. Love hanging out with him. But he's going to get me sick. I'm terrified. Chad, if I'm not streaming the next couple days, 
Honestly, if I get sick, I'm just going to get on stream. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to rip the pen all day, and I'm going to put it in the title so nobody complains. Like, what? Hey, do something. Why isn't he doing anything? We're just going to It's going to be like I'm, I'm on sick leave, but I smoke a bunch of pot, and it makes me feel even worse. Uh, all right, yo, listen. I got to check. What was the name of this bundle? I got to see what the uh, finisher is. The Frostbitten Finish. Okay. Mm, that feels good. How do I try that IRL? Frostbitten Finish? Uh, wait, where am I going here? I gotta think. I gotta use my head. All right, we're going to operators. I'm going to my bundles. I'm changing the finisher. Frostbitten finish. Is it... See, why are these not in alphabetical order? Can anybody explain to me? And it, listen, if I put on the operator, it should put on the same finisher. In the main... I don't have Borealis, chat. I don't have Borealis. I know you guys want Borealis, but I don't have it, and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry. I did not grind. I don't play. Oh, you can just equip it from the bundle on mail. Yo, Crispy. Yo, listen. Crispy, you're one of my subs, so you know that I love you, brother. But let me just say this. Next time you give me some, like, great comms like that, don't finish it with the LMAO and make me feel like a fucking stupid bitch. I just need you guys to say to me, like, yo, hey, Nade. I'm your good friend. Let me give you a helpful reminder. You could just equip it from the bundle. No LMAOs here. I'm not being passive aggressive with my feedback. Jesus. And I don't think you can actually preview finishers, chat. I don't think they let you preview finishers. Preview. Oh, uh, you could preview Borealis. Ah, fuck me, dude. Ah, God damn it. I'm not playing zombies. I refuse to do it. I can't do it. Going to a private match for the finisher? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Why are you guys all making me feel so dumb? Chat, that's so sad. Can we get five gifted? Uh, all right, yo, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going in a private match real quick. I'm putting on the bots on, and I want to see this finisher real quick before we do anything. Oh, wait, it's going to show the lobby code real quick. God damn it. Oh, wait, it didn't show the lobby. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me just go into a pub. I, I can get this done fast. No, no, no. That's going to make me lose my mind. Hold on. Let me go full screen. Yo, mid zone. Oh, my fucking God, brother. Did you just hit me with a five gifted after I shamelessly asked for five gifted? I love you, baby. I love you. Nook, 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 nook. The elves are calling. The elves are calling. Am I full screen right now? All right, perfect. Let me uh, just change this map real quick. Honestly, this is probably good that we've done all this yapping and all this stalling because I'll tell you what, I am not playing ranked until at least my hard carry LaRue gets on. Uh, What map am I putting on? Let me just put on this six-star map. I'm going to turn on bots. Turn on radar always on. Put time unlimited. Actually, you know what we could do is what all those other guys were doing is make classes with these cool guns and see what works. Like, uh, see what guns feel good for the meta that's never going to change because there's only two months left in the competitive Call of Duty season. Isn't that crazy? And we think we're going to find, like, this magical solution even though the pro players will just never in their life make any substantial changes at all. That's crazy. All right. Yo, Frederick Hogglethorn. Yo, that's a cold ass name, bro. You sound like a teacher at Hogwarts. Hogglethorn. Not Ron, not Hermione. You, or boo, you. It's your boy. Thanks for the tier one. Infamous Bronson. Thank you so much. Yo, mid zone hit me with a five gifted. Chad, I'm asleep at the wheel because Crispy just came over the head top. Cri what gun is it? Oh, no. I didn't bring my cool gun. Hit. Crispy just hit me with a 10 gifted as well. Crispy, let's fucking go, brother. Hold on. Let me stun this bot. Uh, let's see this finisher. Oh, my God. I didn't change my finisher in private match. Oh my fucking god. 
Oh my god. Yep, yeah, alright. Back to the drawing board. Sorry, chat. Your streamer's a fucking moron. My bad. L streamer, L streamer. I know, I know. I deserve it. Lay it on me. I get it. It's the only time I'm gonna give you guys a free pass. L streamer, L streamer. I get it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, chat. I'm trying to figure something out. My fa Apparently, my sister's sick now, too. And I'll tell you what. My wife and I have, like, basically quarantined for six months into the pregnancy. And now that Gracie's been born because we didn't want Gracie getting sick. And now everybody in the house is sick. And I'm kind of worried. 10 gifted for a 1v1, yo, T cave. Not a chance, bro. There's no upside for me there. We gotta get this figured out. Somebody's like, oh, I don't want to get Gracie sick. I don't know what to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got the operator on. I got the finisher on. Let me add it over here just in case. And then let me get this damn weapon on. I can't believe they gave it. This is the best ca camo customization pack we have ever received, gentlemen. And I am fired up about it. All right, let me duplicate this class real quick because I'm going to put a different camo on it. Yo, chat, by the way, when Heise was playing on my account, yo, yo, you guys remember when I was tweaking two days ago on stream with the new season? Because every time that I would try to edit my first class, when I would come out of the first class edit, it would just automatically put me on my second class. I was tweaking about it. I don't know if I was explaining it the right way. Is that a setting that highs could have changed potentially? Or was that a season three bug? Because nobody else was complaining about it except for me. I thought I was insane. Oh, it's a bug? Okay, there's no way to fi fix that. All right, at least I don't feel as crazy now. Oh, thank the Lord, bro. I was losing my mind, but nobody else was complaining about it except for me. So I was like, am I... Am I the idiot here? Okay. All right. Let me see this finisher real quick. And I just showed the lobby. Oh, wait. Am I full cam right now? Fix your posture? We can't fix that. Yo, Prince Nate Gaming. You you might be new here, so I'm going to give you a pass. But let me just say, yo, you too, Zirkel. Yo, you guys cannot all be non-subs right now. You guys cannot all be non-subs telling me to fucking... Fix my posture, bro. First of all, we can't fix it. It's not possible. Second of all, if you're going to tell me how to live my life physically. Ow! Holy shit. I'm jerking. I'm taking men from behind all day. Wow. That assassination is cold. Oh, wait. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. This is not a good time for Seth to be off the game, bro. This, I think this entire Godzilla finisher is meant, is built. Yo, let me take you from behind. You're a robot. Oh, my God. You don't even need the kills. You're, you're literally AI. I fucking love it, brother. I fucking love it. Even this gun shooting now. I, dude, what does Call of Duty become? I don't know, but I love it. I love where it's, where, where what, what has happened here, brothers. I love it, boys. Yep. I'm hard as rock. I'm hard as rock. Oh, hey, yo, chat. Uh, can I tell you guys something faded real quick that I'm probably going to be really embarrassed to say to you guys? And I, I think you guys are going to think that I'm insane. Can I just say something real quick? I'm going to wait until uh, this ad finishes. I think there's an ad playing right now. Yo, non-subs. Are you getting an ad right now? Oh, wait. You can't hear me if you are. You guys are going to think I'm a fucking moron, bro. And I might be. I, I think it's actually going to change my gameplay substantially, boys. No ads? Perfect. All right. 
how do I say this? I played Valorant for so long, and the time to kill in Call of Duty used to be so much faster. We obviously have 150 health. I've never played Call of Duty in 150 health, okay? In Valorant, it's not like Counter-Strike. The Vandal doesn't have a consistent spray pattern. The first three bullets go straight. Everything after that, the, sub, the, the recoil pattern is different. It's, no one recoil pattern is the same. I didn't really play Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was 150 health, but I didn't really play much of it. That was really, like, in the, in the heat of 100 Thieves. Like, I wasn't gaming. And the time to kill in Call of Duty used to be so fast, you didn't really need to worry about the recoil at all, okay? I realized when I was in the range earlier this morning before I went live that every gun has the same recoil pattern every time you shoot it. And brother, let me say this. I have never played this Call of Duty hand to God on my, on my fucking wife, on everything I love. I have never played this game with my right analog stick thinking about the recoil pattern. I've only ever just pulled it down when I'm shooting. You could give me a fucking polygraph. I swear to God I've been doing that. Little did I know that with like the rival and MCW, depending on what I'm using, like I should be pulling down and right or down and left. And not just straight down. Bro. I actually think my entire life is about to change today. I have so much optimism about how I'm going to fucking play today. Because I know now that there is a consistent recoil pattern. And it's probably why I get fucking gunned so often. Where I'm like, yo, I got my... I know for a fact I got my crosshair here before this guy. And I started shooting before this guy. I legitimately had no fucking clue. You're trolling. Bro, I, sh I, I, I put it, give me a fucking, some of this, I swear to God. I wish I could tell you guys how serious I am. Bro, I did not know. I had no fucking clue. Like, here, I'm going to end this game real quick. Nate isn't real. Bro, I'm pretty stupid, man. I'm pretty fucking stupid. Clip farmer? I'm not even farming clips. I sh I, I'm not doing this for entertainment. And we're going to find out if I'm actually faded or not. Because I'm going to try today to use these real recoil patterns. And we're going to be valid. I'm going to see what happens. I think I'm actually going to be shooting fucking laser beams today. Oh my god, my throat feels a little scratchy, bro. Am I fucked? All right, hold on. I Yo, that was a good call out of somebody. There's actually uh, a skins for now for the stun. I got to throw this ice stun on. All right, and we actually need to make this class. Yo, uh, chat, you think I'm going to get slammed if I use build it break all day, even though the L4... Let me see how different the gun looks if I use flash hider. Does it actually change very much? Yeah, I'm using build it. Fuck that. I know you guys can't see the screen. I want to show the lobby code. Give me two seconds. Actually, wait, wait. I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this lobby. We're going to go into the firing range, get all of our rank classes ready to go now that we have new camos and shit. Let me see something real quick. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Just bear with me. Are we still on this sub train? I can't even see it. I don't even want to... I don't want to be selfish and vain uh, because we've already had so many subs today, but it'd be kind of cool if the sub train kept going. I'm just going to keep it a buck. 476? Holy shit. Chad, we hit a 500 sub trainer you end? I was going to say. All right, yo, listen. We hit a 750 sub train. I'm going to do the sub giveaway the same way that I'm going to do it. But today, if we hit a 750 sub train, I'm going to give away a pair of uh, the Sennheiser headphones. They're not sponsored. I'm going to buy them on Amazon. They're like 600 bucks. Best headphones I've ever used. And I'm going to give that away. If we had a, th a thousand sub train today, I'm going to buy the same monitor that I'm using, which is a 1440p OLED monitor, and I'm going to give that away too. Ah, uh, these headphones are $300. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Sticky, thanks for the gifted sub, brother. I'm going to do real giveaways today. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And I want you guys to put whatever you want in my mouth.
Uh, all right, all right. That one was too. That was too faded. That one was too easy. That wasn't even funny. It wasn't creative. It wasn't funny in any way. Yo, reacts just hit me with the twenty four gifted subs. Just gassed me straight up to that five hundred sub train. Yo, reacts. I think we need to hash our love out for each other in a dark room. Thoughts? Snipe Daniels. Thanks for the prime. London Batman with the prime. Sticky. Thanks for the gifted sub. OMG. Thank you very much for the tier one. Habibi Simp. J Black. Thank you guys all so much for the subs. All right, what were we using on here? Uh, we had special... DFCN with the 10 gifted. My brother. My brother. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Special team, special player, special DCFN. I just fucked up your name. DFCN, thank you. All right, I got this on. Uh, we got the Regal stock, which might be faded. Yo, Waffles just hit me with the five gifted, bro. Fuck pancakes. I fucking hate pancakes. I'm all in on Waffles, brother. What happens if I take the stock off? Yeah, Chad, I gotta be honest with you, bro. The stock is the most important part here. No? We gotta we gotta use the Regal stock all day. <laughs> There's just no other way. Yo, oh my fucking God, boys. Did you just get turned up on a Friday? Tuesday, Tuesday. That was a couple days ago. Now it's Friday and you guys are fucking me with love. Yo, Waffles, thank you so much for the five. Killer with the five. Drac with the five. Clicky with the five. Clicky, Drac, Killer. Killer, Drac, Clicky. Clicky, my nippy. C King with the prime. Croce with the tier one. Colton with the tier one. Lobster with the five. I fucking hate crabs. I'm all in on lobsters. Mr. Bach. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks for the prime. Jayberg with the tier one. And Noxio! It's like Lario from Under Under. Noxio! Thank you very much for the five gifted. Hopefully that voice wasn't annoying. Ten gifted. I'm sure that was fucking real annoying because I'm annoyed by myself. Yo, Impact... You you just impacted my ass. Thank you so much for the prime. Neighbor with the five gifted. The neighbor gifted five to the Nade Bro Hood. What a quinky dink. And not a quinky dink twinky with a girthy twinky with a five gifted. I feel like that name is sicker and more perverted. That's disgusting, brother. I like my Twinkies in a nice plastic fucking bag. They can survive a nuclear war. They're the perfect size. We don't want our Twinkies to be any bigger than they are right now, brother. I haven't had a Twinkie in like 10 fucking years. I'm ordering Twinkies today, boys. I'm ordering Twinkies because... I'm gonna... You guys think I could fit two Twinkies in my mouth at the same time? I'm gonna order... I'm gonna swear to God I'm ordering Twinkies today. Yo, Girthy Twinkie, thanks for the five gifted. I'm going to really put that girth to the test, a.k.a. the two Twinkies in my mouth. Menace, thanks for the prime. KR3001, thanks for the sub. Allison with the five gifted. Aaron with the prime. Allison, we love you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. You guys are really active right now. What is... Aaron, Jr. Claps, Jer, Jer Claps, Trumpin with the five gifted. I said, don't cry, Trump. I got five gifted. Rostin, thank you very much for the five. Leroy Janko, Ignition with the five gifted and flaming hot Doritos. I appreciate you boys. Yo, listen, I know that the non-subs who don't give a fuck about me right now are pissed off that I'm just doing all this yapping, thanking subs, but I'm sorry, gentlemen. I mean, when they're bringing water to the well, bro, I got to put my bucket down there and bring it back up and say thank you for all the love that you guys are showing right now. All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. We got to stay focused up. What are we doing? I got to duplicate this class because we're going to do another camo combination on it. I got to delete this class. We don't want that. I'm going to make a brand new striker class that I saw online. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete. We're, we're basically deleting everything. We're doing house cleaning right now in our, our classes. Uh, because I'm going to put the Toronto Ultra on this one. So we're going to have some optionality. Great. Uh, and then I'm going to put the Toronto Ultra on here. Just because it matches the fit of the whole thing. I don't want anybody on my dick. Again, about using Toronto Ultra skins. Because you guys asked me to do this. I didn't own it. I didn't want it. I put it on. I did it for the boys. All right, all right, all right. Yo, Crispy Riggy, thank you very much for the tier one neighbor with the tier... Yo, yo, this guy neighbor belongs here, bro. This guy gifted subs before he was in a sub himself. If that's not taking the shirt and giving it to your neighbor off your own back, I don't know what is, brother. You, you, honestly, you got, you got, you got it. You got a grip over me, brother. And I, I've, lost, I, I've ran out of words to say. We've been talking for two and a half hours and I have not stopped. Crispy, thank you so much for the sub, neighbor. Davies, you're the fucking man. Slim Charlie, thank you so much for the five gifted. You guys are awesome, bros. Thank you. All right, yo, we got to put the ice stun on. Good comms, great comms. I got the ice stun on. I was going to forget to do that. 
because I just keep stopping myself with all this yapping. We got the ice stun on. We got marksman gloves on. And now I got to see what the recoil pattern is of this MCW. We got to learn what the fuck we're doing all day. The stun doesn't do anything special. Trust. Okay. Don't check our dope like that, brother. We don't want to hear that. But great comms. It's helpful. Thank you for letting us know that it's not going to give us that much dope. But I would have liked to figure it out by myself. All right. Yo, all right. Listen, we got this crazy ass operator on the left. What are we using on the right for the day? We gotta, we're getting our fit right. I'm going to do this every morning. We're changing our fit. We're making it a big deal every day. What do we got on the right? Does anybody got some dope for me? Who's got the comms on the right side? What should we be running? This black cell is kind of okay. You're going to go shower BRB? All right, Lindaddy. Squirt one out for us, baby. Honestly, probably just go for this, no? All right, all right. Let me see this recoil pattern now. Uh, let me make my operator on the left my special. And then we're going to learn. All right, here we are. Chat, for the first time ever, we're going to learn the proper recoil pattern of the MCW. Okay, this actually did not work with the tracers. Hold on. I did this earlier and it worked just fine. I can see all the bullets in the wall. That just looks like splooge, brother. Is it? Is it just down? I think the MCW is just down. Shoot the glass? Okay. Is this just down and left? Wrong wall? Yo, are you guys... What, what the fuck am I doing wrong here? Look, this wall? It seems like it's going up and to the right. Oh. This is pain. Take the tracer. All right, all right. I never said I was fucking smart. Boys, I don't think you'd be watching me every day if I, like, I don't know what you guys want me to do. I'm fucking stupid. I, I'm just going to be honest. All right, listen, I'm going to put on the default MCW for a sec. I'm going to put exactly what the class is real quick. Just bear with the stupid idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not playing video games for a living because I'm smart. I'm very dumb. Very stupid. I know. I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. I got to live with it every day. I'm sorry. All right, let me shoot the glass. Bottle. All right, so this actually, the MCW... The MCW recoil pattern is pretty much just down, yeah? Look at that. It's kind of going up and right, so we got to go down and left a little bit. Down and left, pretty much. But it's very slight on the left. The music's hidden today. You're, you must be new here, brother. We got bangers 24-7. All right, yo, let's go. All right, I know how, I know how to shoot the fucking MCW now. Down and left. I've just been going down. Sometimes probably right. Because I swing that way. Fuck the left. No, just kidding. Okay. Alright, now we've got to put on uh, a rival class, even though it's getting banned, pretty much, right? Wait, what the fuck class is this? What did I just make here? Alright. Should we still be running our magma? Wait, what... Are there more rival blueprints than I thought? Wait. No, these are stupid. Okay. All right, all right. Pure fire. Clear shot. DR6. Marauder. And assault grip, camo, special. Wait, did I do something wrong here? Why is... Okay. All right, so this is like down and left too, right? This is down and left too? Down and left and then down and right. So it's kind of like...
Wait. Shoot straight, please? I'm trying, bro. That's... We just... We... We finally arrived at our destination of what I said originally is I didn't know there was the same recoil on every gun. And so I've just been pulling straight down, which is fine at most ranges, but it's really more of a down left and then and then right. So we go down left. It's kind of like you do a little three, three. It's like using uh, your fucking pelvis in a golf swing. It's, you know, you fucking dip it down and you twirl it all around and then you wonder why the fuck you're not actually on a golf course and this guy is grabbing me from behind. And I don't know. Look at that. Yo, check that shit out. Do you see that shit? I was shooting straight as fuck. Down and left. And then a little bit to the right. Yo, listen, boys. This might be it. I might be actually... I might be him from here on out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Are we back? Am I... Am I about to be in championship form today? So it's down and left and then a little bit to the right. Got it. Bet. Uh, hold on. Let me get all my classes right. And then there's this fucking Uzi class that everybody's losing their mind over. So I'm going to make another one of those. Why does it keep making a class? I'm so confused. I said, I'm very confused. Hold on, bro. Let me make a gunsmith. I'm going to save this mod. Fun gun. All right, let's see if I'm smart as fuck. Can I remember the swarm class that LaRue gave me from a couple days ago? What blueprints do I have for this, by the way? Or what blueprints are available? Oh, man, these are all kind of mid. Fuck. All right, whatever. I mean, this is kind of cool, I suppose. I'll just make a default. Havoc tweeted the swarm class. All right, yo, listen, there's two classes I actually wanted to make. Hold on, guys. I, 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 give me two seconds, man. I'm trying to figure out some family shit. I think Haley's kind of worried or nervous about Gracie getting sick because my sister and uh, nephew are in town, and my sister just woke up, and she said she doesn't want to leave the room because she's very sick now. And my wife, with the way it's set up right now, would just be stuck in the nursery all day. What do we think? How, how do I do this? Should I get... I can't get Haley a... Maybe I get a hotel room for the night? Maybe I can get Sarah and Ollie a hotel room for the night? What do we think? I gotta figure this out. I don't want you stuck in the nursery all day. You're gonna lose your mind. Sorry, boys, a little real life stuff. I got it. She said, no, no, it's totally fine. Listen, I can book a room. I don't think they would mind. I think they would understand. Clorox the whole joint. Well, I mean, look, man, I, I, I our daughter definitely needs to, you know, kids need to naturally, uh, their immune system needs to grow and build and, you know, get stronger. But you, I, I think we're past the newborn stage where our, our, our pediatrician was like, yo, listen, for the first three months, do not see anybody. We can give you this RSV shot. Tell your daughter to toughen up. Yo, Supremo, I can tell you don't have fucking kids. And if you do, uh, I think you probably have had a few, so you have more experience. But here's the thing. RSV right now, I guess, is very dangerous in uh, for newborns, and they have a vaccine for it, but it's relatively new. I'm like, yo, I got the I got the vaccines. I know that they're necessary, but this RSV thing isn't very well. It hasn't been around for like 30 years. This thing is brand new. 
So let's hold off. The pediatrician actually agreed to me, agreed with me. She's like, yeah, if it were my kid, I probably wouldn't do it. Either. So we've been, we've just been trying to, Jesus Christ won't vaccinate your kid. Yo, mediocre. First of all, you're a sub. You can't jump to those fucking conclusions. I'm, I'm, I, I believe in Western science, bro. I believe in fucking, I'm, I'm not like an anti-vaxxer, but I, I do think that with a lot of the things that have come out now with the vaccine for COVID, there are a lot of peculiar illnesses and situations that a lot of people are running into. I got the vaccine. I got vaccinated as a kid. We already gave hey, uh, Gracie a bunch of shots. I'm just saying the RSV shot is very... We're not getting into the fucking vaccines. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm Gracie's parent, and I'm going to make the decisions that I think are best for her. I'm never going to put her in any danger, and I'm using as much information with no medical background. I've talked to the doctors. I've gotten their opinions. I'm making decisions that only a parent should make for their child. Okay, so get off my fucking dick because that actually kind of raised my blood pressure a little bit. Mediocre. Fuck you. Lick nuts. Uh, it's my kid. I'll do what I want, but I'm not reckless. Um, long story short, with all this yapping, I don't want to get Gracie sick. So we're going to try to figure out how to make sure before my sister leaves tomorrow that we don't get sick. All right. Hold on, Chad. I got to look at this class real quick. I think you guys said that Havoc tweeted out. Best SMG in rank play right now. Let's go. All right. We got the flash hider. Reckless barrel. That's not, that's not ruthless. That's reckless. What am I getting reckless with? My child's life. <laughs> Yo, Richie Jones, thanks for the five gifted brother. Jokely, thanks for the gifted sub. Flush face with the tier one hockeys. Thank you very much for the prime. Carried by the kid. Thanks for the five gifted. Oh, shit. Carried by the kid with the five gifted. Oh, shit. Yo, my brother, thank you so much, man. Uh, Hamani, thank you very much for the prime. Great Gregorius, I didn't even see you slip in there, brother. I didn't even see you slip in there, brother. Thank you very much for the sub. My man, my brother, my dog. Oh, wait, is this a, twer is this a trolley class? Did we get trolled by it, Colt? Somebody's got to tell me because I actually won't know. Because this is definitely different than the one that LaRue gave me. But maybe overnight, people came up with new builds for these fucking things. Can anybody be honest with me and tell me if this is trolley or not? Or is this a serious one? I guess I could ask him myself. I know him. We're friends. Mop top, drop top. Yo, Zadwick with the five gifted as well. Brother, thank you so fucking much, man. Let's go, Zadwick. He was testing it out earlier? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. So, we got confirmation that it's probably pretty good. Let me see what this recoil pattern's like. Whoa, okay, so this is... Wait, hold on, my brain can't think about it. This is going... This is going down... Then it's going up and left, so I need to go down and down and right. Down and right. Okay. This guy, I mean, LaRue had a 40 mag on this before. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Yo, Wildcat just dropped in another su gifted sub to kill a Cajun. Holy shit. Show us the build again. Can you give me give me two seconds, bro? Give me two seconds. Put a hundred round mag on. Honestly, bro, I would love to for like pubs, but that would be pretty faded for uh ranked. I think. I I think we might need forty though for sure. Hold on, let me let me take off the. What do you guys? It's no grip for the mag. Let me see what the recoil pattern's like. With the 40 round real quick. Oh wait, I was started pulling down. Hold on. I'm stupid as fuck. Oh, it's pretty much still down and right.
Okay. Use the fortress stock? I could. This is just what uh, Colt Havoc tweeted out, which I trust his opinion. I'll wait till LaRue. We'll, listen, we, we'll fucking... We'll sit here and figure this out. Please 100 for the lulls. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, 100 mag. I thought you were saying 100 gifted. I'm like, bro, I do not feel like smoking right now because I, I want to impress LaRue with my gameplay today. I said, don't cry. Whoa, okay. All right, for now, I'm going to put on the 40. Let me see what the factory, the fortress. You guys are saying the fortress. Actually, I don't know. That fortress kind of felt like it kicked there. I kind of like that. I'm excited to fucking use this all day, bro. Mediocre just hit me with a five gifted. I, yo, listen, mediocre. I turned up on you, but that was more turning up on the chat. If you gifted that five as like, I'm not, I'm not, I understand and respect your opinion. Yo, mediocre. You didn't need to get five to say that, but I, I will say, you know, it's kind of hard to have a real conversation about serious shit on the internet. And I just want to say, bro, if I, if you were in front of me right now, I'd give you a firm handshake. I don't, I don't even want to do this bit because I don't want to make a joke out of you just being like a very respectable, cool guy. So thank you, Mediocre, for saying that. Big W in the chat out of Mediocre. Look at that. Two grown men on the internet just had like a serious like conversation where we respected each other and shit. You're the fucking man. We appreciate you, Mediocre. Yo, Lit Leg, thanks for the gifted sub. And Zadwick hit me with the 500 bits. Okay, hold on. Zadwick, you just gifted five, so I definitely don't want to take your opinion and throw it away. You hit me with the Zen Comp, Fortress Stock, Vert, Grip, and Reckless. Yo, for now, listen, I trust you guys to have some fucking builds up your sleeves. But I think I'm just going to wait until I'm in a call with, like, LaRue because I feel like players figured out a lot yesterday when I wasn't on. And I'm going to wait until I can get some... Why is my left arm kind of tingling right under my... I don't know what's going on. Chad, I, yo, hey, hey, hey. I got to get, get the fuck out of the range because you guys are all sending opinions on what these builds should be. And I'm just going to get more confused than I already was. So just let's... let's, let's uh. Here, I'm gonna take I'm actually gonna take this uh this Uzi into a pub real quick. What time is 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 Octane on right now? Is LaRue on? I'm gonna text him real quick. No, he's not on yet. What time are you on again? He said eleven to twelve PT. Oh shit. So I have quite some time before he gets on. All right, chat, we either keep fucking around with guns and get into some pubs or we find a team for ranked. Maybe run a poll real quick. Maybe we run a poll because I saw Heisen and Havoc. They already had four. And I don't I don't want to kick anybody out because I do that pretty often and I, I would feel bad about it. All right, hold on. I'm going to delete all of these classes real quick. Don't get mad, but I'm going to. I'm just, you know, today's right now spring cleaning on all my classes in pubs, private match. I feel a lot better than where we were. I'm not a guy that stays organized very often. So this actually is kind of scratching a part of my brain that I don't ever scratch. This is kind of nice. Let me just get some of these club, these pub classes made so I can try out these ranked builds before I even jump in. What did we have on here? Uh, the flash header, I believe it was. Uh, the barrel, we had the rec. Was it ruthless or reckless? I think it was reckless. I picked reckless or right, ruthless, and it was actually reckless before. I'm gonna put this Kamara, Kamara, vertical grip stock. He had us using the rampage, I believe. And then we had the for pubs. I'll probably try the hundred round mag just cause. Put a drum on that bitch and let that motherfucker sing. Okay, that's what we had, and then we got this Renetti class. And we, unless we use the butt plug knife. Handguns, we got the Renetti, I've got my blueprint build, bada bing, fun gun. And now we're going to make this dope ass, dope sucking fucker 
of an AR with the coolest blueprint that I think Call of Duty has ever delivered us to date. I got to give big ups to Call of Duty for this one. I know that the microtransactions can be annoying, and it's definitely not the best way to handle how they handle their store. But I'll tell you what, this thing does things to me that I can't even describe, gentlemen. This gun is so fucking cool. I, I just can't get over it. And, you know, a lot of people don't like to give Call of Duty credit when credit is due, but I will be the first one to say, hell yeah, brother. Y'all just gave us some shit. And they gave it to us on the MCW, and the blueprint itself has, like, basically all the attachments you would want to use. I mean, I'm pretty fired up about it, gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. I got the wrong... I got the wrong grip, you said? Kimura, Ryan... Oh, I might actually have... You might be right. Yo, great comms. Great comms. All right, we got the MCW. Now we just need the rival class, and then we should be good. I'm going to jump into a pub. I'm not even going to... I know you guys probably voted in the in the poll, but I kind of want to try out this Uzi in a pub real quick. But I'm just getting all my... Class is right. That's not the one. That's not the one. Zona Allo, wait to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, LA. Rocking me, baby. I think I'm just going to use this Toronto Ultra skin all day now. Oh, wait. No, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay. We got our rival. We got our MCW. We got our swarm. Let me jump into one of these pubs real quick, gentlemen. Oh, let's play six star 24 seven. Ooh, I'm actually kind of excited now. I forgot. Season three, we jumped into rank as soon as it came out after we watched all the fucking trailers and unlocked the battle pass. I forgot there's more dope to be had with different playlists and such yo i've i've really i've never been a part of a new season launching in cod in so long oh wait we gotta make the fuck 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 chat i'm sorry i cucked you i'm cucking you i'm edging you boys right now so hard i forgot yesterday when i was in line at universal i saw johnny who that that oh johnny kid i never knew who he was he seems like he's pretty good like an up-and-coming challenges player um he tweeted out I think I saved it. He tweeted out a striker nine build that the chat that the, the, there were some grumblings in the chat, some murmurs in the chat that there's a striker class out there that was pretty fucking good. That might have been the new meta. And it was it was normally there's like troll comments like, yo, this gun's so good. You should try it. And it's there's nothing to be had there. But when I see a challenger player tweet out the striker nine class i think you guys weren't fuck i think you guys were telling the truth that there's actually a striker nine class that people are using i haven't been able to watch rank play so maybe you guys are have already seen this and i'm just over here yapping about nothing but oh wait and we got this frostbite man they really went the fucking distance on the mcw and then they just said you know what fuck it just throw some blue on there put some scrapes on it and you're good pretty average no Elite long barrel, muzzle is the purifier. Lockman recon series stock. Oh, okay, I'm already there. And then the X10 Phantom. So what does this camo look like with the wait? Eh, ah, oh, shit. Okay. We might have to play a couple pubs to experiment with all these guns now. Hold on. If you were looking for ranked, this my ADHD snapping back to the striker nine might have just fucked checked your dope for real. I feel like there's so much to test out and tease. This, I, I'm kind of worried now about this flash freeze because somebody said, yo, it's not that great. It's not that cool. So who knows if it matters or not, but. uh, For pubs, I don't really want to 
I'm gonna throw the tag mask on. Jesus, bro, there's so much to change with these classes. I'm actually, I actually kind of have anxiety now about all these fucking class changes that I have to make. Good lord, bro, this is very taxing on me. <laughs> Look at me complaining about going through menu screens in a video game. Jesus. I think I'm getting dizzy. Covert. Jesus Christ, bro. What happened to pick 10? Just save them now? Yeah, it's actually probably a pretty good call, no? How do I... Save a mod? Fuck me. Oh my god. I've been in these menus and talking for so long, I don't even know what to hit anymore. Uh, alright. Custom mod. Uh, April Swarm. Uh, April MCW. Uh, April Rival. This one didn't really change at all. And then, whoever said save these, you're smart as fuck, bro. I want to suck you. Uh, April Striker 9. Thank you for that recommendation. That's actually a great call. Unfortunately, though, I don't... I think if I want to use these blueprints... Do the blueprints... Or do the custom... Uh, fucking... What is this called? The custom mod, does that carry over to rank two? Like, now that I saved it, can I bring it over to ranked as well? I already saved the pistol, by the way. Oh, man. Guys, thank you so much for your patience. We can now finally get into this new map with these new guns. I'm actually very excited now. You know... We got through the hard, uh, monotonous, fucking tedious menu screens and shit. We got our operator. We did yapping. We got a crazy sub train going. I don't know about you guys, but right now, you know, I wish Skump was on. But let me say this. It's nice just for my ego to have the viewers up. The vibes to me right now are immaculate. We're three hours in and we're about to play our first game of Call of Duty. That's fucking insane. Woo! I feel like we just ran a goddamn marathon, gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the vibes. Next level yap sesh. Yeah, yo, whoever's running that Call of Duty channel that's just cutting my yapping together for basically like podcasts for people to listen to at work. Good luck exporting a three hour one. Have fun. Oh, sh yo, I'm dead ass. I'm leaving the game, chat. I, this is something I keep forgetting to do, and I knew I would have I would forget if I don't do it now. I'm changing this fucking loading screen, bro. I, this gorilla.